LSD is like mushrooms on acid. <laughs> okay. And it is it is acid, so it's it's a funny metaphor. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello, America. How are you? No. Said, don't you know me? I'm your native son. <laughs> Said. I'm Shit. the train they call the spirit of New Orleans. There's a lot in that song, right? What I just sang. Yeah. It's a lot. Of, you go like, wait, you're a train? Three lines spirit in, you're like, you're a fucking no. train? <laughs> <And> you're, <laughs> you called yourself. Okay. Trains can't talk. It's a. Guys, guys, uh, guys, uh, Spirit Padre has a small message. <laughs> what the Spirit Padre learned is you, uh, I, this you know, everybody, first of all, everyone keeps DMing me for numbers and information. Mm, same, I'm same, same, never, same. ever, ever, I'm not going to give out a number. As we talked about, go on Reddit. And you can go on TripAdvisor. Literally, TripAdvisor has ayahuasca. Uh, yeah, just Google, uh, guys. Retreat. Google. You Google it. You could, you know, you bing it. You even got to Google it. You yeah. have to get up. You can, that you high. can ask Jeeves. Duck, duck, go it. <laughs> use just use your entire portfolio of search engines uh, because we're we're I, we. It's I'm not going to go like all right, call this guy. Anybody? I don't know you. Right, like um, uh... <laughs> so. Uh, what I will say, though, is just make sure the place you go is legit. Ayahuasca and, certified. And there's a like a very, very uh, experienced shaman slash shah, shah women, shah, shah, per, shah people. Shah people. Shah. 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 <laughs> shah. shah. Uh, so... Just because I I feel the 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 more I talk about it the more responsible I feel for yeah, people. Yeah, now you're and you got. I well, just, when I'm you call you, yourself Spirit well, Padre, well, look, it brings it's, <laughs> it's, it's you. heavy, heavy, heavy as lies that the <laughs> head who's who is the Padre. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's my that's my my yeah. cross. What does uh, the Padre bear, wear? It, it's a shawl, really. I'm wearing a shawl. Padre? The Padre's wearing a shawl. What do you mean, Papa Padre? The Spirit Padre, Neil oh, Brennan. The Spirit, Spirit Padre, Padre yeah, is yeah, wearing yeah. A, sh a multicolored shawl. <laughs> multicolored. Um, With a swoosh. Yeah. And, Nike swoosh. Well, yeah, I'm sponsored. <laughs> uh, so just, it's got to be, don't do not do any back, again, it's not like back alley. It's all it's fairly all a back alley. Back. And you might need to just wait until after COVID because the really good places are in Peru and Mm. Ecuador and um, Costa Rica and Brazil. So I think that. that's like, I feel like that's where I need to be. Yeah. Because, uh, well, yeah. So your takeaway is after doing it this just, many times, just, just, just make sure the person knows what they're doing. I just, I feel like, a, I just don't want someone to do it. Cause I said, and then, and then be like, dude, then, but you said, you, you said everyone was good. It's no, like, well, also everyone's not, they're not all created equal. In the end, we both gleaned benefits from ayahuasca mm -hmm. and I had my experience and you've had really good experiences. Yeah. And so they can, there's no one guarantee you're going to. Yeah, gonna, your, it may vary. It, your, your, yeah. It, uh, moderate, offer, to, or yeah. moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Plaque arthritis. <laughs> plaque arthritis. Plaque psoriasis. Uh, yeah, your it, may it, vary. avoid prohibited, all right. that shit. Uh, <laughs> prohibited. Caveat emptor, buyer beware. One per household. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Um, not transferable. Uh, <laughs> me and B this is called Neil and Bianca right. say things they've seen right. on in public places. Yeah. So that was uh, that's my that's my spear padre caveat. It's got a rhyme. Twenty twenty. It's got a rhyme. <laughs> um, now Bianca, uh, what an earth, what a world we live in. Things are happening continuously. You're not going to believe this. What? Tell me. Rudy Giuliani. What did he do? He got COVID. I mean, I feel like he's been so embarrassing lately. Mm -hmm. it, it lately, more than yes. ever. Uh, 
always use that photo. That's it, the photo now. That's the, the when he what the uh, ah. uh, frack face. He <laughs> fracked his own face. Um, that like the COVID is. I almost thought didn't I thought he already had it. Like in my head, I was like, oh, didn't they all get it? Well, the joke that everybody's making is, I mean, the easy joke is like, COVID contracts Rudy Giuliani. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Chris's good... joke, pray for COVID. Pray for uh, COVID. It uh, apparently COVID can travel from bat to human and back to bat. <laughs> uh, some of these are recycled these from are when very Steve, good. Stephen Miller got it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always um, a template. Yeah, there's a template for everybody. It, look, you're in comedy logo. You're gonna see some <laughs> some uh, some some repeat templates. Um, so I don't know. America is getting to the point now, and this speaks to Mar Melissa Caroni, the woman, so the, the star witness, star witness, our expert, uh, yes. it witness. Uh, she, I, that's ironically enough. That is, that's his, um, what was the movie that he loved? My Cousin Vinny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's totally. the Marissa Tomei of his My Cousin Vinny. Dude, and it doesn't, so... but she's bad. She's and she so... didn't help. She... And she's a bad. I don't know if she's she a, seemed... even a, what she was on. She was an IT tech. She... she was IT tech for Dominion or whatever the fuck. Okay. And um, the things she was saying were, it was hard to follow. Even like Saturday Night Live parodied it, but when you're watching it, it was like it was. She's a crazy person. It was just like you know, she's not just her. a crazy person. Like uh, harasses her ex fiance by sending her sex tapes. Her ex fiance. Oh yeah. She would send her ex fiance. <laughs> she would send her fiance's ex sex tapes of her and her. Oh, her fiance's ex wife. Yes. That's so. Her, now mental. having said that. If a Melissa Carone sends you a sex tape, that's automatically <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Auto it doesn't matter if you know when it is. If she's in the tape. Not good. It is a hate crime. <laughs> it's at least a hate crime. So, but here's what I, f here's how I feel with what Giuliani's doing with yes. what Tell me Melissa Car Caroni. I don't even know how to say it. Carone, Caroni. This is Caroni Tomei. Yeah, we got to yeah. keep it. Uh, Melissa Corona. I mean, if you really want to be <laughs> topical about it, um, uh, is I'm. You know when we've talked about Leslie when pe they released pictures of Leslie Jones, how I would not look. That's yes. how I feel about a lot of this stuff. With anything Giuliani does, Melissa Corona. <laughs> Uh, fucking all the joy, any, anything Trump does, just all of it is so embarrassing for the country that I don't want to see it, hoping that in some ways it will not belittle my impression of the country. Like, I don't, if I see this, I, I may not come back from this. You're, you're really sensitive to things like this though. Like the AOC makeup. The, no, like, they're different families. AOC makeup is just irresponsible. No, but I doesn't it come from a place of just you're in an important position. Mm -hmm. Just do the important position thing. Don't yeah, do. Yeah, I was saying I was saying somewhere where you don't wear shorts around people that work for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, it's that I don't want to see my therapist at the beach. I don't want to see. <laughs> But I don't, but I had a, I did a, me and Lauren Michaels talked one time where I was like, you'd never wear shorts around people you work with. He said, under no circumstances. <laughs> You're done. Once someone sees you in shorts or like, a, I remember I did a pilot 20 years ago and one of the execs came in running shorts and it was like, oh, this is over. This is, this is the whole thing is over. Um, like thigh, like thigh, Daisy the Duke, like white guy, Daisy Duke running shorts. It was it was the over. The, of course, the pilot didn't get picked up. Um, so that was it. I don't. So with any one of these things, even if I have a friend that's doing a sitcom mm. that I know is bad, I just will never look at it so that I don't. It, I, it will go into my cumulative score. Oh, of course. And I don't want it to. So I will 
I said a friend of mine had a sitcom one time, and I said, I watching it felt like watching an ISIS beheading. beheading. <laughs> That's Wait, how you this said that to the friend? No, I didn't oh. say it to him or her. Um, uh, <laughs> guess who it was. You will. You may not guess. Um, but that's how I feel about America. With this is like an ISIS tape. Mm. America's being in some ways beheaded. Some way, in some ways, people go, "Well, yeah," because the left is cheating. And no, it's not. This is not good. This is not good. It's not a good. Some of these fights are not. I'm not saying we can't come back from them, but they're just not constructive at all we've entered the part of the breakup where he or she won't leave yeah and so okay i'll move out but it's your house mm -hmm. so you're like and that's the uh, other i was gonna do this on yeah i was gonna do it on the daily show like hey we're roommates yeah we can't like it was i had the original idea with um the russia hacking the thing it's like yeah russia hacked uh hacked it this time and you guys yeah. won but next time it you could lose and I, I as a liberal i'd rather have a set of rules that we absolutely have to abide by right because we're roommates and this is we're literally chained together so if you get sick i get sick or in this case I, I whatever they didn't get whatever they got an immunity idol as it were <laughs> if, it, if, it, if I can use survivor um a metaphors uh so this Giuliani you know I told I've been doing a joke that you're you would never believe this but in 2002 after 9-11 the two biggest heroes in New York were cops and Rudy Giuliani yeah. Seems like science fiction. <laughs> yeah. Literally could not convince oh someone God. that there was a time where Afrofuturistic storytelling. Oh, <laughs> uh, by the way, we have drops now oh, yeah. from the yes. Bianca was lucky enough to obtain the entire art of speculating. <laughs> it's so <recording>. good. <laughs> the art of speculating. So Dude. we've had Will chop it up. Um, and they will be uh, hopefully a part of our uh part of our show now until For example. <laughs> when he says AT aliens, I mean, Will? Atlians. <laughs> Atlians. Atlians. When the Atlians. Yes. I was like, I had, I had to reread him. Like, I had a good, I don't even know if this is, <laughs> uh, this is old, Neil's old man phrases. Come on. I knew a woman who lived who in was, a shoe. Who, when I was working for all that, how old are you, Neil? I know a woman who did background on the elevators video. How old are you? The elevators, the elevators, the ATL. That's how old. Oh, elevate. Okay, the sorry, song, sorry. I'm uh, slow, slow. No, I'm sorry. Um, um, I know a woman. <laughs> wait, background? That's who did background. <laughs> uh, it's not even like that's a bad job. I'm just saying. No, like, I'm like it's, it's like... so long ago. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so that's how old I am. Yeah, you know people who worked on I know classics. Who, yeah, I know people who like like iconic things. Yeah. I know one of the uh, co-creators of Spell Show. That's how old I wow. am. Wow. Um. So, just to put that in person. <laughs> okay. I love saying when people go, "I was I was born in 1999." I'm like, I had problems in 1999, <laughs> like fucking problems, <laughs> Pier multiple doctors and pills and a uh, heavy heavy duty situation. Uh, uh so. If you can av avert uh, avert your gaze from some of these things, the same way that you and I, post Spirit Padre Tivity, have don't have much taste for true crime or murder. Right. Do you or, still? Are you turned off? Well, were you ever? Yeah, I I tried to. I, there was a bunch of shit that I could not. It's weird. It weirds me out. On my Reddit, I have a. I follow a lot of. Um, unresolved mysteries subreddit uh -huh. these true crime and when i'm on i s jump i don't even read it it's like toddler was found I'm yep like, skip found in the name. park alive uh, alive Goodbye. and playing skip Goodbye. it Goodbye. Uh, i don't want to know at yep. all and it i do a little spooky here and there well, i can do a little x files season just so i'm feeling crazy uh but no i i I can't. My, there's something about my brain that it like healed. I don't know. It like sealed off. Yeah. The receptors. Yeah. 
which is kind of a bummer. Well, I like freed it. up time. It frees time up basically. It it it, mm. it you have there's an hour now a day where or whatever you're not where you're wasting. not where you just can do something else. Yeah. Do sit ups. I do. I bought a bike. You, did you? Mm hmm. 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 Don't mind if I do. <laughs> what kind? Like a Peloton or an outside bike? Oh no, an outside bike. I don't make that much money. Oh, you don't. Yeah, it's a, it was a money issue. Um, Guys, that's what you did. You did that. You bought Bianca a bike. <laughs> bicycle. <Panera>? Bicycle. <laughs> I don't know. Can't call it a bike. Uh, somehow bicycle is better. She thinks it's no, French. I'm not, it's no, French I'm somehow. Not, I mean, a not a Peloton. <laughs> yeah, but that's also <laughs> Peloton's not a bicycle. It's a stationary bike. I know. That's why I said bicycle because I didn't have a Peloton. I, I don't. I, I don't know what's going on. I, don't know. I said okay. bicycle and you said bike. Oh, okay. Um, or something. Something happened. <laughs> okay. um, uh, now, wait. Go ahead. what were you going to say? I was going to just lump it all in with the the Georgia debate since it's all... I didn't watch... Uh, Asif were... follows me on Instagram. Really? Yeah. And I didn't know that. And I've said a lot of... Horror. <laughs> no, I didn't. I DM'd him and I was like, if you need... like, I, sent, I had already sent him money. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I don't think it's just a follow for any reason. It's he follows like seven hundred people, and your friend is one of them. Oh wow! Um, so I not a any reason Ossip follow. To follow. Um, so I said, "Do you want?" I already sent him money, but I was like, "If you need punch up, or yeah, something, let me know." But what do you say? He hasn't gotten back to me. Uh, so the white lady says she's the least. She doesn't have a racist bone in her body. Least racist person in the room. It was it was like a standard kind of thing. It wasn't like some. I mean, she. You, Did she you already look say, like this is SNL? She looks like the White Ring, Kelly Loeffler. Wait, the White Ring. The White Ring. The white. Ring. The girl from the Ring, but <laughs> white. The, we'll call it the engagement ring. That's the white version of the ring. <laughs> the White uh, Ring. She looks like she climbed out of a well, and is here. She climbed out of a well at one of those outdoor malls, <laughs> like the Grove or something. And she climbed out of a well there. It was like she climbed out of a fountain. Let's be honest. Oh yeah, she she didn't. She wasn't in a well. At one of those like town, <laughs> yeah, the uh, fountain. regular fucking town square USA type malls, uh, uh, like the Grove, where they have their own trolley. Oh yeah. Just fucking stop it. Um, yeah, it. I made me think that without. I do wonder about the Republican Party when Trump's gone because I think Trump unified everybody together. Mm -hmm. But without Trump, it's an extremely fractured party. I mean, both parties are fractured, but uh, I don't, I wonder without that unifying force that everybody got behind, I, I do wonder about American politics when Biden is the president and mm -hmm. nobody can do anything. And let's say he- Well, Biden's going to be able to do a lot of shit if everyone if, in Georgia who's who's liberal- uh, has registered for the for the for the runoff and look man that's the thing i was thinking before our podcast sometimes i'll think wow and there's a lot of people that are right wing in america there's just a lot of there's just a lot of people that are republican yeah and the only way for liberals to beat them is every you just it's it's so obvious, but every single liberal has to vote in every single election they can. Yeah. It's that's the only way to get any sort of lib I mean, a liberal agenda sounds scary, but just a a a, a democratic agenda. Like right. capital D 1970s 80s democrat like Biden <laughs> is. Hard. I was doing the arms. The, oh yeah, like, he's hey, doing da, 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 the heave ho arms. Uh yeah, I was doing the old heave ho. And uh <laughs> Every single fucking election, it has to be urgent because if it's like, ah, I don't feel like this one or uh, you can't not feel like it. Yeah, because the Republicans show up. Yes, but it's also such a thin margin in terms of the amount of liberals versus the amount or the amount of Democrats versus the amount of Republicans. We're really split. It's like we're for so we have so many people in this country, even though there are more liberals, I think. I don't statistically it's not it that I don't think it's borne out. I think statistically well I mean, you wouldn't mind typing it. Uh oh yeah, that's, amount of liberals versus uh Republicans. Americans. Oh yeah. 
The U.S. still leans conservative. That was a year no, ago. No, but that but liberals keep this January twenty twenty. Uh, center right. Yeah, it's center right. So it it's is center right. It's not. That's but I not, wonder how many tech, like how many more people, because it it is center right on the issues. But a lot of people are maybe identify as liberals, but don't vote or aren't acute in. You again, know I mean? if you're center right, if everyone voted, then the country would be center right. So but what a I'm lot saying of people is, voted in, and you know. the country is was almost center right. I mean, super whatever. I don't know super what Trump right. is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but what I'm saying is the the uh, the amount of liberals versus the amount of by the latest by Gallup in I think this is earlier 2020. Right. Which again, much has changed. Uh, they did a study, and it's 35, 37 percent conservative. 24% liberal and 35% moderate. So yeah. it's that's this is what I was talking about a month ago where, yeah, during the mad, where it's like be fucking persuasive and stop acting like people are liberal. They're not fucking liberal. Stop it. But then Trump could not you know, you're always saying to liberals, hey, pander to like don't pander to the base, pander to the middle. Right. But no, I, but, I know. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that Trump didn't pander to the middle at all. Because there's 37% Republican. He doesn't need to. He doesn't, he needs much less of the middle than, than Democrats do. Just right. statistically, he needs, by my calculation, 13%, 13 point, 13% fewer people in the middle than, than Democrats. So right. right there, it proves my, 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 my point. But what I'm saying is, uh, we just have to fucking vote in every election and we have to, uh, liberals do, and we have to be persuasive. You can't be hectoring. You can't be yelling at people. You can't be talking down to people. You just, it's not going to work. If you want, it's like, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's like America's foreign policy where it's, it's freedom by, bay, by point of bayonet. It's like, there's eh, maybe try it different, a different way. You're not persuasion by, by yelling is has a zero percent effectiveness right so you don't think Biden? because you're really critical of i was critical of, of biden of, but he did it i wasn't critical no i wasn't critical you said, you said you said oh stop i said shut the fuck up about race and gender that's yeah and by the way he did they eventually yeah but yeah like eventually but they but uh, toward the closer the election got the less they brought up a woman and a brown right. and a they just uh, <laughs> uh, right, the, but she is a brown woman. It's not hard to see, and she again, did. Again, I didn't say don't nominate her. No, no, I I'm said not saying shut said the that. fuck up about it. I'm not saying you said that, but I'm saying that he did. He was more. He was the less liberal of all the people in the primary. Yes, he was the most centrist, most and then centrist, people yes. on the left but, mm -hmm. assailed him. I wasn't saying. I was saying get away from the far left and play it. Down. That's where the fucking people are. Is in right. the middle. I don't, it's, do I want a middle agenda? No, but I'd rather have a compromised liberal agenda than, than a Republican agenda. Oh. Whereas most liberals either want a liberal agenda or nothing. But that's most people. That's not just no, liberals. No, it's especially liberal. It's especially You think liberal. that's not Bianca, on the, on the. you know the phrase, because I've said it on here before. Say it. Liberals fall in love, Republicans fall in line. Republicans go, this is the guy? Great. Where do I vote? They don't mm -hmm. go, well, I think he could be more. I might sit this one out because they don't play that shit. It's a it's a babyish liberal disposition. Mm -hmm. And it exists only for liberals because Republicans go, I don't give a shit as long as we get Republican uh, like, judicial, yeah, judicial exactly. nominee. It's in lower taxes. I don't care. I really don't care about the rest of it. <laughs> they only talk with clenched yes, jaws. Yes, because there's a lot of blacks, a <laughs> lot of blacks and browns around. <laughs> um, so, you know. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I wonder. But the because you live in LA and are yeah. from the Bay, you assume the country is mostly liberal. And uh, no, I fucking Bianca, don't. You just said it. No, 10 I, ago. I didn't say it based on that. First of all, because that's super narrow-minded and ignorant. I understand the middle of America is not a same reflection of 
the most progressive place in ca in America is where I'm born from. You know what I mean? I don't think it's the same thing. I said that because more people, seven more million, seven million more people voted for Biden than Trump. I just was, and I was under the impression that like, besides voting, just people, the, the population really is in a few major cities, like half or more of the population is in a few giant cosmopolitan cities that are mostly left leaning. So I didn't say that all the country is like California. I mean, that no, no, no. But I don't. I'm sense. not. I'm assuming the reason you said there are more liberals than Republicans, which is because of the vote. That. Because right. of but the vote. That's, that's the it. presidential vote. In the in the like we uh, liberals lost, Democrats lost seats. No, I understand House, that. I'm just. I didn't. Almost nothing I didn't say Senate. how many registered voters are Republican. I just was wondering. If the country as a whole, as everybody in the country, most of them, if the majority is left leaning or right leaning, and that's that was what I was wondering. We can't right, really but find that's that the, information. The, my point is, you grow up. You, if you, it's impossible to fathom uh, that most people are that thirty-seven to twenty-four percent people are are Republican over Democrat. It's like what? I like, don't think I it's impossible still, to fathom if you've left your I, state. Of course I've left. I leave my state all the I time. I know, but I'm, I'm saying, saying it's not hard for me to fathom. I, no, I've I know, been but the if I told you that stat beforehand, before we looked it I'm up. Not, I didn't have a, no, most people, no, I, I just, I, I. I don't, again, I, you're seeing this as an attack. What I'm saying is it's hard for people to fathom a thing that they don't see. It's like why I was so willing to bet Dave that Hillary was going to be Trump. Right, but the day of, because he's he was like, dude, I'm seeing a lot of fucking Trump signs in Ohio, and I was like, ah, hogwash, hooey. But it's it's re, it's recency bias, it's locally bias, it's just we're biased people. I know, but I also have been uh, into politics for a really long time, so it is not it is not a surprise to me that most people are that. I'm just wondering because most liberals tend to be younger. And most conservatives tend to be older. So I was just wondering, like, a number we can't really get to the bottom of because, you know, whatever. And then some people switch. And then some people were liberal when they were younger and they had all these, like, radical ideas. And then they get money and they have a family or whatever. And then they become a little more conservative. I was just wondering if the presidential election is a reflection of the people or if it was a reflection of how many people just don't like Trump. I think, it's, I like think it Trump. was a lot of – it was the middle – it was the difference. That was the difference to me. Is like persuading the middle, liberals pers or Democrats were persuading the middle, and that they were more. I would argue that Biden was more persuasive than Liz Warren or Bernie would have been. Mm. There are people that are like you. Know, I, 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 no, I, Bernie. That's the funny thing is like, oof, Bernie would not have. No, but you can't tell a Bernie bro, bro. says that. Bro says. <laughs> mm. All inclusive. So, although Neil. Uh, Bernie Sis did admit that once she started volunteering for Biden, how remote it was that Bernie would have won, which was very satisfying. When when my when Neil's point of view <laughs> is brought up and sanctified and glorified. Sanctified. Uh, there's nothing sweeter than having your own positions glorified. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, remember Ellen Page? Do you know? Forget her. Goes by the name of Elliot Page. Elon now. Page. Oh, is it Elliot? It's not Elon. Oh. <laughs> It'd be funny if you change your name to Elon as a <laughs> as a tribute to uh, to the our our our, our uh, electric future. <laughs> and like, I just love the brand, and I love what he does, and I have the fire thing. I have the the flamethrower. Yeah, the um, <laughs> have you seen the people testing out his flamethrower to actual flamethrowers? Mm -mm. It's so good. What this is it's like. The it's like those little green squirt guns versus a super soaker. His is a super soaker. Or His green? is the little green gun. Yeah. Well, I think legally, I don't. I think he was better off making it a little because I know when one you person really explodes wanna... and it's like goodbye everything. But when you see a flamethrower work, what the hell? It's... Who would need that? I was trying to figure out who would need that. I mean, they used them. I the only time I've seen, I believe that they've used them. They use them like for real in, in uh, combat. No, in 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 uh, 
Call of Duty. Oh, okay. In Call, Call of Duty, Duty, like the World War II ones. And I believe that I actually saw it in that movie. Oh, there it is. So that's his. That's the yeah. Elon Musk one. That's, that's like a lighter. Yeah, that's, that's a just... cigarette lighter. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's bad. Again. And then this is like an actual flamethrower. It, Why? It seems like that's what they should use for. I don't know, people with knives. I don't know. I, like literally, knives. when could you? When is that? <laughs> That's better? actually tight. If you're someone's knifing, well, just I don't right. Know. But why not a gun? I don't. I, I don't understand <laughs> why you would. This must have been pre-automatic. What I don't know. We'll never pre-automatic. Know. Oh, what you mean when they invented it? Yeah. It does sound like some archaic shit. It's super. It's, it's like medieval. Flame. It's yeah. It's like get the. Get the uh, battering ram and the and the <laughs> and the like spiked the pulley thing the the oh the, what is it the uh, catapult 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 <laughs> Elon Musk is releasing one called catapult <laughs> uh, the English word flamethrower from 1901 so that's really that makes recent sense. Eh, but that's pre like very good guns yeah that's true and pre flight. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, that's gonna go in the Neil basket with um, pretty with, good with did fireworks. You know? what? Hey, did you know that? No flamethrower. Your flamethrower can get it. That can- <laughs> fireworks are stupid. But flamethrower. I hate that you ate fireworks. It's so uh, cool for eighteen yeah. fifty. Uh, you know what I wrote down what? Um, just now because we forgot is David Sedaris got in trouble yesterday. Well, I love uh, David Sedaris. I know, it's stupid. Who doesn't like David? David, Amy, the whole family. He, yep. In the winter circle. Wham, wham, wham. <gasps> Bianca, David Buddy. Sedaris did a CBS This Morning. Um, oh, my God. Uh, fucking remote where he, it's like an op-ed where he said that you should be able to, like, citizen's arrest. Mm-hmm. You should be able to uh, be able to just fire people at, which is fucking hilarious. That's so funny. Why right? would that? Okay. Very funny. Okay, very funny. Uh, you just could fire them. Like um, they're doing such a shit, shit yes. job. It's like. Yes. Take this lifeguard of the uh, YMCA, WMCA. I brought a guest pass so that I could swim laps. Ten minutes after I started, the young woman blew her whistle and said, you all have to leave now. How come? I have to go to my parents' house. <laughs> What? Right. That's what I have a. <laughs> That's so so funny. anyhow, people said it was classist, and just a what? bunch of like, how are Jeez, you? She's at the WMCA. How, did you, get it? how did you get there? So that woman, you don't, you think what she did was cool, and that we should protect workers' rights in that situation? It's the I have a similar. Tell me, I love a good POV. Come on, what happened? It might be. It might be more classist. It's okay. I assume that. But I'm pretty classist. You look classist. Uh, and, of course, sizest. <laughs> uh, till, till, till the casket drop. Everybody know it. Um, I, when people say that lazy people are on welfare, mm. w- that there are people that are just lazy and would rather be on unemployment than get a job, uh, I see that as, you know, when an NBA team, when there's a troubled player, will buy them out mm. to get the fuck away from the team. That's how I see people that are too lazy. Because it's like, would I rather Wait. that person... I'll explain. Would I rather that person be uh, at home living on the dole on the uh, off of welfare? Or would I rather that person be at CVS going like, huh, can I help you? I don't know. Like I'd rather just go home, just get out of here. I'd rather you get unemployment than okay. than be at work and be fucking horrible at it. And I'm relying on you for a service. And I mean, CBS used to be horrible until Jost wrote a sketch about it, and then they literally like overhauled their entire. Really? Yeah, they did a sketch on SNL probably two years ago about like the premise was. That's when they brought the greeters in. Yeah, the premise was like, who works here? <laughs> and I don't even remember the sketch, but the premise was like, they're bad. It was like our Kinko sketch on Chappelle's mm. show. Yes. Kinko's didn't we're do like, an overhaul, though. No, but that was the most real shit. Yes. And every time I go to Kinko's, I think of that sketch. 
Uh, thank and you. I'm like, what? Uh, that was based on real. It's um, they fulfill this. It's they fulfill the stereotype so badly. It was. Basically. I just was listening to a guy at a Kinko's one time in New York, and like, uh, and he just. It was unbelievable. Like it was just like horribly stereotypical, and it. it he's the kind of guy that's like, just buy him out. I'd rather pay a portion of my taxes just people that are too dumb to work mm. or people that are too feckless or people that are just don't want to be there or people that are just getting in the way yeah just buy them out the way the washington uh wizards bought out gilbert arenas for bringing a gun to to class he's weird online no he's a weird dude he's just okay. a weird dude and they were right to buy him out Goodbye. Goodbye. Nev doesn't work for anyone else in the NBA? No. He Never got going picked to? up by one team. And it, I mean, what happens a lot of times is guys' egos get too big. Yeah. Where they get, like, I think Carmelo got bought out by Houston. And then they're he just, just like, had to sit go. it out. We'll like, you're you not money. worth the trouble. So that's what I'm saying about CBS, Kinko's, whomever. A lot of these people are not worth the trouble. Right. Like, they just don't want to be there, and they don't want to help, and they get in the way. So I don't know if that's better or worse. If I'm canceled, <laughs> if I'm... Did I get a raise? What's well, the opposite of getting canceled? Uh, Am I being exalted? Uh, I, Yeah, I know. I get it. So, <laughs> so again, David, if that's, if that's where we are, is that David Sedaris can't say we should be able to make citizens' firings the same way we make citizens' arrests, uh then uh, I'm going to look away because I don't want to see America like this. <laughs> the thing is, you're people who know you and follow you and fans of yours. Mm. Uh, I know you like that. Um, he, They know you. So I don't think anyone's going to bat an eyelash at your opinion, but I think David's fans are uber liberals. He has some uber. I don't. He, I, I don't. He, I, he has a very NPR's crowd. But NPR's this is, crowd, and by that, the way, so in his tone. It is so in his tone, but it's the firing of it's somebody that basically else. Basically, he wrote a thing in one of his first books, like Holidays on Ice, I believe, yeah. where a woman said, "I'm going to get you fired," and he was like, "What are you?" He like was then against her for saying that. Like, how are you? So, so he's, it's like, he's being a hypocrite, but and like oh, okay. he got rich and forgotten. It's like no. Mm. To me, I think he would have been in the same boat back then, but yeah. he just he didn't write it. He didn't write it down. <laughs> and and I also think he would argue that he was doing a good job. This woman was just being an asshole, cause, right? Because she could. Whereas that person was being. But then it's all like, well, everything is from Mister Sedaris's vantage point. Yeah. Well, you're doing a bad job. But yes. these, these are such blatant. It's fucking, who cares? It's just, it's People fucking get, dumb nonsense. And like, wait a minute. I think we can get, I think I can build a case here. I know. And then a mania, an online maniac. I mean, he specializes in satire uh -huh. and we're going to get upset. Well, so does everybody that gets in trouble. What? So does Kevin Hart, but they got upset because he said he was homophobic 10 years ago. And I learned a ton from Kevin getting fired from the oscars what'd you learn i learned don't be homophobic 12 <laughs> years ago that's the number one lesson i think we can all take don't write it don't, down don't be homophobic 12 years ago i mean that's it yeah. that's the only thing any of us can take um is if when you when you're traveled through time which as i debunked last week is never gonna happen southern black people who travel across <laughs> time and space <laughs> um that kid is so great. And the funny thing is he actually sounds like Mike D from the Beastie Boys. He does. Uh, just natural. His black voice is Mike D's normal voice. And I would ar also argue, and I've argued this for years, Mike D and Aziz are from the same vocal family. Mm. You know what's funny about that guy? The da art. Mm -hmm. um, he. Da art of speculation. What if it turns out it's, that's John Ossoff? <laughs> and he's, <laughs> he's running for, he's going to lose a lot of black votes. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, it, he tried. He tried hard. I could tell he did some preparation. He made a choice yeah. that he thought was going to do the work justice. And the certain 
no ing i n apostrophe yeah. so he's like well i don't want to whiten it right so he did the opposite i really don't fault him i fault whoever you fault you know, the two black guys who said it was cool to be funny no <laughs> he asked I two black guys and they're like yeah man that's a dope <laughs> black like, accent so good say baby that's a good accent <laughs> hey you cool cat. um so he i whoever the publisher i mean whoever somebody listens to it before they allow it on i don't know i you know you would think i bet that it i it's an art it was an article that's the thing is autumn i don't think that was on autumn but Autumn is the is the audio right. that you can do audio right, right. Uh, magazines. The thing and is, yeah, go. So this seems like a smaller version of Autumn, and I bet at a certain point they just go, they just trust the engineers but, to edit it and not make it, and it just as long as it's not horrible. It was so funny that it, to me it's kind of even Stevens. It's like, yeah, this is very embarrassing for you, very hilarious for everyone else. I don't think you meant. It to be it's, so I'd say terrible. A, yeah, I'd say it's a. I'd say it's a push. It, yeah. I, in fact, I almost want to say black people won because oh, it's so yeah, entertaining. It's so entertaining. <laughs> I think this is a black W. That it's like, yo, even Steven Zude, like you're good. Like don't ruin this your life over this. Fucking, you just this shit is young Shia LaBeouf. It's even Steven. <laughs> it's too. You know what I mean, um, straight up. So uh, this young Shia. Young they got Shia. young black people. You got young, young Shia. Shia. Um, so, oh, this is a different. So I don't. We haven't talked about this. I don't think. I thought your duh was like Ellen Page is turning into a man. Duh. <laughs> no. I was like, oh. Duh is the next thing on the on the page. <laughs> okay. uh, Ellen Page. I don't know what to make of it other um, than we went into flamethrowers. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, you guys. Um, we'll keep it up in the in the in the in the log as Ellen Page, and then we just never talk about it. In fact, let's not talk about it. Uh, uh, let's move on. Duh. Okay. So, you know, so you, have you heard the thing? I don't know if I talked to you about this. You know, you, you can't say like that person's crazy anymore. I heard that. And someone told us when we were talking about, you mentioned it when we were talking about Kanye the first time. Right. And you were saying, instead of saying crazy, say. Oh, right. Know. But yeah. But we talked about crazy is not okay to say anymore. Yeah, like I was going crazy. I was. Oh, I thought you meant for you mean as yourself. You can't even say it as yourself. No, I can't. What Sorry. I'm saying is, gotta say crazy. Duh, is not. Duh is basically you're making fun of a mentally challenged person. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> duh, <laughs> duh. So look, just get your does out. <laughs> What's next? Okay, duh. Stupid. Um, Do you think they're going to come for stupid? I don't know where stupid's or what what its origins are. I don't know where it where it, it the flamethrower people. <laughs> where did, did they come up with stupid? Just stupid origins. Stupid yeah. origins. Um the real meaning of stupid. Uh-oh. Stupid etymology. Here we go. Oh, okay. Get ready, Will? everybody. Get ready. Okay, Will. With Will find Will, something came over Will, and he he literally Googled stupid etymology, which <laughs> no one's ever something done before. Came over Will. Uh, slow from Middle French stupide, stupid. 16th century, <laughs> mentally slow, lacking ordinary civility of mind, dull or inane. When directly from Latin, Latin stupidus, amazed, confounded, dull, foolish. Mm, I think I think we're gonna allow we're, it. I think we're yeah. Because I think it's like calling someone dull is or dim witted. I don't think yeah, no, if I say dim witted, I don't mean you're. I I would only say dim witted for someone who thinks they're smart and is boring. Mm. I wouldn't go like oh his mother fe he dropped him and he's if someone was brain injured I wouldn't go like you know the dim witted. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that mean. Uh. I grew up, growing up, one of my best friends, her sister uh, was mentally retarded. and I don't think you can say that. Uh, I guess well, if you say mentally, you can't. No, so, that's, so growing up as kids, they kind of taught us, like, she's mentally retarded. Lou uh, did a whole bit about this. And then they, were, they told us, she is mentally retarded, but she's, we just say special. So we just said special growing up. But technically, 
I, I, they, I was told she was mentally retarded, but she's actually special. So I'm like, oh, her sister's special. That's how we address it. As and a people kid. were like, you mean she's a singer or something? <laughs> like, no, nah, she's got like charisma special, that like she's going to enter a contest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's that kind of. So we said special. And then it was like Special Olympics. And I feel like there's, we'd go to these, I think she, I don't know, Down syndrome. Um, but I, I think that's how the parents, because we'd go to these events or something for her sister and everybody used very certain terminologies. So <laughs> it was just very like a careful way to address it. Everybody was being very careful. Yes. Uh, so, retard, retard or retard, the verb, uh, it's late 15th century entomology. Will's an entomologist now. Hey, yeah. Um, uh, like uh, make degree. slow or slower from French retarder. uh, restrain, <laughs> hold someone back, keep someone from doing something, come to a stop. That's from the 13th century or directly from Latin retard, <laughs> make slow, Get it delay, all out keep now, back, no. hinder. That's, th I, I've used the word retarded, like, and they retarded it, meaning, well, I've used it, like, in the bad background yard way, but uh, the retarded way, meaning, like, they hindered it, or they, they... Yeah, the growth was uh, retarded. Yes, yes, it was, it was held back, or retarded. Maybe, <laughs> maybe if you say it like that, it's... If it's, if it's allowed in other languages, yes. I mean, in German, it's behindert. Hindered, well, but that sounds behindered. like hindered. Behindered, yeah. Like hindered, 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 yeah. I mean, yes. So, so that's the way, it, like, retarding someone's growth or retarding someone's progress is like that's that's viable and it should be used and it will be used. Uh, but I remember saying retarded very loud to my friend, like, you're fucking retard, uh, in high school. And a teacher came out and was like, do not use that. Wow. That is da 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 da. And that's been in high school. And I remember I couldn't... This 93? Uh, yes, whatever. thank you. <laughs> and I whatever. was in high school in 93. Bianca's never was, is not, hasn't even been born yet. Uh, yeah, thank you. And um, yeah, she was like, my uncle's retarded. And mm. I was like, okay. Then maybe you don't say it either. <laughs> and then this is the problem people do, though. And this is... Is he similar to my friend? Because my friend's retarded. <laughs> How similar are they? Dude, we look, bring, hey, come on over here. Hey, retard, get over here. And then you bring your friend over and you go, get your uncle on the phone. This is probably the before cell phone, but you go to a pay phone was, to have the uncle talk to the friend. This is the fucked up thing, though. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. She said, you know, a long time ago, people used words for black people that they didn't like. And I was like, mm, okay, okay, I didn't need. So why don't you say it and see how much longer you teach her? <laughs> Just it's like Mulaney's joke about the R the N word, yeah. Midget being like the N word and like, well, you won't say the N word, so <laughs> it seems like it's worse than than midget. <laughs> I gotta say, um, um yeah, yeah. And even then, I remember telling the story to someone and saying I was fully capable of understanding what she meant without her having to relate it to me. <laughs> Stop saying that the N word was silent. Um, yeah, that the nineties were wild is the point of, of that segment. Um, uh, so duh, say duh now instead of because you're not what? gonna be able to. No, you're not. Crazy? I'm just saying it's you're not gonna be able to say. What duh. can we say instead of crazy? Neil's being. Uh, well, the problem wild? is I just have replaced it in my. I say now brain injured, as like <laughs> as an insult. Yeah, but I don't. I say it like women talk to guys. Women's impression of men make us sound like we have brain injuries. But crazy doesn't mean brain injury. I don't, but uh, you can just say like mentally unwell now. But it's not, it's very clinical. The thing about crazy was it was like, eh. It's like, ah! Yeah, like you're what, acting, how, you're acting like a little extra. And also crazy is high energy sounding. Yeah. It's being crazy. It's being crazy. So how do we, duh, uh, he's being duh. I don't know. Look, you're Neil. gonna have to Padre. do. Just, you're gonna have <laughs> go to back You're under. on your own. Just make go sure back that to you Aya use it and well. Tell me. <laughs> okay, fine. Because I don't want to be responsible for you using these words, and then it turns out it, I don't want to be. I don't want to flamethrow. <laughs> don't flamethrow your own face. It is my biggest word. Uh, weed, Bianca. Yeah. Weed is now legal uh, in the NBA. 
Literally, Blake texted me because I asked him. I don't think he smokes weed. He, I just like asked him. The, the, here's the thing about weed. Tell me. I, this goes to... I mean, there's somebody I was I was tweeted a bunch. I texted him a bunch of jokes, and they're like the hackiest jokes. Okay, whatever. Say one. Say uh, one. The average score is going to be like thirty nine to twenty. <laughs> whatever. This um, is funny. Yeah, but, Wait, do you have another one? Um, somebody. I then I like looked them up. Mm. I just googled like weed, and I just and someone had someone did a run, and one of them that was fucking really funny was the uh, the horn is going to scare the shit out of the player. <laughs> <laughs> which is fucking it got no retweets or likes that's and i was like so that's fucking funny. very funny that's very uh, funny like i texted blake was like and he was like that's fucking like i was like let me just i'm, I'm done but here's one more um here is my worry hmm. i just it will help with it does help with inflammation it helps with but there is a downside to weed that Weed advocates act like doesn't exist. Which is? Weed fucking burns people out. Weed dulls it it dulls people's brains. I don't I I don't think there is a habitual weed user that uh hasn't paid I don't know. I don't want to say hasn't paid paid some price mentally, but I'll say this. It's not going to make them better athletes. What it may do is help with inflammation. Um, basically, Stress of the job. I feel like that. No. I mean, I don't think that. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's a stressful job. You don't think that's a stressful job? Being an NBA player? No. Why? It seems very stressful. Is being a comedian a stressful job, do you think? Uh, no, but I feel like there's this, it's so competitive. I mean, you're on stage by yourself, you know? So if you fail, you bomb, you really only let down yourself and maybe people came to see you. Whereas in the, in the NBA or any sports, it, you're in a team, you have a crowd of people screaming. Well, that's where it's similar to comedy. Meaning right. there's the performance aspect. Right. Um... But people aren't haven't been rooting for you for generations. Should we call Blake and ask if he thinks being an NBA is being in the NBA is stressful? Yeah. Call him up. Call a him guest. Up, guys. Uh, you guys love guests. I love Let's your guests. Let's see if he picks up. This is a real test. This is a real test of friendship. I don't often. <laughs> <laughs> what if he just forwards well, it? Well, whatever. What if he forwards it? Let us. Well, you got the number. You see, everyone can see the number, I hope. <laughs> five, five, five. Let's video. Let's um, FaceTime him. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh oh fuck. This is a bonus. Topless with a mask. Hi. Oh oh my Topless god. He's uh, going wide. Gang. Work the runway. Ooh. Holy shit. Oh my um, god. <laughs> you're on the podcast live. So, so sorry. Hot. And I'll cut it out if you don't want to. Well, you'll it whatever the answer. <laughs> We're talking about the weed thing, right? Yes. Bianca thinks that being in the NBA is a stressful job. I would, and I said I don't think it's a stressful job, regardless of the weed thing. Would you consider being in the NBA a stressful job? Yes, especially if you care. If you don't care, then it might not be that stressful, but yeah, it's stressful. Okay. I would suggest, okay. <laughs> well, now I don't want to ask the second question is how many guys care? <laughs> it depends on the team, but like, like our, our team, our team this year, we got a lot of guys that care. Like it, it feels like, you know, Aww. is it, that, I've been on teams where there's, there's yeah, almost every guy, one through, one through, you know, 15 cares. But I've also been on some teams where, you know, not everybody cares. And you're willing to name names? I'm willing to give a pen and paper. <laughs> Great. Bianca, <laughs> well, you're on the podcast, so that's exciting. I have a, qu wait, I have a question. So is it, what's the most stressful part? Because we're kind of comparing doing comedy and being a, being in well, the NBA. 
I mean, it, it's sort of the same as, and, and like you, you sort of get instant gratification, or you get you get you're used to just like getting judged in pretty much in real time. Mm. Whether you're doing either, you know, you can go, you can kill it, you can be in the zone, you can be doing really well, or you can play really, really bad. You know, the thing is, like, a lot of times, unless it's, like, a special, I guess, like, if you just go to the store and you bomb, like, not that many people are going to hear about it, but, like, you know. I would suggest it hurts more than bombing in practice, though. What? Bombing at the store is worse than having a shitty practice. Oh, yeah, 100%. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right but i don't what i'm saying is if you they're obviously like the pressure of a big show like that's obviously there's the pressure of the big show and you're technically performing for 15 to twenty thousand people a night live plus tv um but i don't but is that that's not part of the consideration for weed is that you're dealing that these guys are dealing with stress and weed will help them deal with it most of it's uh, about I, I think that the reason they suspended it now is like, listen, everybody, like some of the guys were in the bubble for a long time. That was stressful. It's, it's, they're away from their families. This year, we're encouraged, you know, to have limited house guests. We're, in, we're encouraged to not really go out to dinner, even on the road. Uh, we have to have like a pre-approved NBA restaurants when we're on the road to go eat in. So otherwise it's just, and that's just the Cheesecake Factory, by my understanding, <laughs> correct? Stupid ass. Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Um, TGI Steakhouse Morton's of course Morton. I'm sorry I, I fucked up um, so I mean I guess they're taking into consideration that this season is going to be more stressful from a mental mm. like from a mental standpoint just like you know having limited people around not having people in the, in the, in the arena we're playing more games in a shorter amount of time um I don't know. There's a lot of factors, but I also think that they'll like probably relax the rule from here on out, even in a regular season. Oh yeah, they're not going to be able to. Roll they're not going to go back. Like, All right, like, turn your weed in. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Uh, are I you just do- finished a second practice. You look like you're uh, at a. You're no, a, turn whoa, it back. Piston. Turn it back. Oh, Bianca wants right to see you with a shirt. Now. Bianca wants that shirt. Look. <laughs> I'm walking in the in our underwater treadmill. Don't mind if I do. Man, if you were on weed, man, <laughs> if you had, that would be so wild being on an uh, underwater treadmill, man. Um, <laughs> water is the water on the treadmill. Yeah, I'm sorry. That would have been a good joke, and uh, uh, FaceTime fucked it up. Um, so, uh, all right. the Blake Griffin with, uh, with, a, uh, with a weed NBA weed update. I have a question that you may not want to answer again on the record is, is there a concern that it will make the game worse? No, I don't think so. Okay. Were they already just... I mean, yeah, of course, God. The guys that were smoking during games, are we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, the guys, yeah, we're going to do it anyway, and they're also probably very good at it. Right. Like, they can handle it, I guess. I mean, yep. Uh, shout out to the... People that the, anyone who seems stoned during games for the fan is is stoned, right? We can all agree. I don't know. I mean, there's some guys that seem like it, but I don't think they are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's the saddest part of this whole thing. <laughs> um, can I be you guys as a in the field reporter? I would love. Oh yeah, my we'll, god! <laughs> we'll uh, yes, we will. We'll get back to you, and you'll see in like two months if you were like i was wrong they never should have enacted this <laughs> neil, neil bianca there seems to be a new development <laughs> um all right buddy we well a guy inside. it's talk about caring it's eight o'clock detroit time and this yeah. guy's in the yeah. underwater treadmill yeah but i gotta get home and smoke a joint so <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker all right good all right buddy good bye. talking to you. bye bye you were hot He's he's good looking. He's he's um That was lovely. Um he is uh he's a good Blake Griffin is a good boy. He's a good boy. I've always said. I we I we have a guy inside. That's pretty we cool. We got a guy inside. Wait, <laughs> my, I was talking to my guy. Sixty days yeah. in. I'm not gonna say who. <laughs> um he plays in Detroit. I had a good joke about Blake, which is he um 
used to be in the NBA and then he retired to play in Detroit. <laughs> you dick. It was a, it's a dicky job. What's the Timberwolves? No. Sorry, who? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it is the Pistons. Oh, yes. Okay. He was, uh, by the way, Blake was on Eric Griffin's, Eric Andre's show. What, and which Eric one? Andre's Cartoon Network. Uh, the, the, Adult Swim. No, no, the but the, the, the season? Yeah, there's a new season. It, yeah, they where broke he's, it up. He's bald. No? Yeah, it's, but, where, he but, looks like, where he looks like Jeff. It was, yeah, he, that's funny. He looks like Jeff Ross. Um, the, uh, the Blake, there's something, something about Blake going through it made me laugh because I don't really usually know the people that are the guests which is a funny part about the show yeah like they pick people that would like New York from I Love New York is on it um, just like obscure just like just, obscure or Marion is them. on yeah they're fucking with Blake I don't I think he went on I don't know he they weren't fun. he knew what the show is and he's yeah. like still he's Blake's in showbiz and right. an athlete. like he's doing well um, but the, uh, him being scared was so fucking he funny. He got scared? He got scared and they did really funny freezes on him. That it's dude, they're so It's just fucking really good. funny. I didn't get how, when, I, I heard they make it like a thousand degrees in there. Yeah. And they, uh, some will have like a shocker on them or there was one actor who they just kept dripping like one drop <laughs> It's, it's so funny it's so funny it's such a funny it's show so funny. it's one of my favorite shows um it's so it's funny. definitely my top 25 of all time i can just it just goes his on the street shit i cannot bird up bird up one, i didn't realize that bird up was a play on word up bird up oh he says bird up yeah. as the guy in the sprite the sprite guy oh the like the black sprite guy no, there's a he when he says bird. I don't know oh, what the, the sprite segment, guy. Yeah, his sprite guy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. The sprite. It's like yeah, yeah, four yeah, sprites. Yeah, yeah, he says yeah, bird up, and yeah. it's so fucking funny. <laughs> and I assume Doug Pound writes every pun because Doug Pound from the Champs was is works in the show. Does he? Yeah, I never he's seen like him in one the of the main editors and writes for it. And they did a behind the scenes one, and he was in it this season. But it's it's so Doug's sense of humor. Oh, okay. To say bird up, I can't even explain <laughs> Just, it. It's also Doug. So so dumb. Uh yeah, so Blake uh so his thing about teams he would obviously he knows better than both of us. Right. I also think there's certain lies he has to tell. I you know what? That's why I stopped myself from asking something cuz I'm not filtering it for I know. Him? I don't. I, I don't not know filtering if he lied. I I don't think he just lied to us, but it's like He didn't lie, but he's, you know, it's his job and he doesn't want to go like, yeah, it's, he can't say it's going to be worse. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Uh, like, and also, the end of the yeah. Event. And I think he would say that, um, that, 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 that he were, I think he's right about the, if you were smoking weed before you're going to smoke weed now. Yeah. There's just, people who smoke weed and exercise and everyone's like, how the fuck do you do that? But they're. It is funny that like these guys are going to be isolated. We should have them smoke weed. That'll well, help. Well, what like, I uh, was going to say. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> have you have you smoked weed? <laughs> what I was going to say was that they knew they were all smoking weed. It's a little. It's not insulting. I know it's, but there's the majority of black players in the NBA, and it's like you know what they're going through a tough time. Let's give them weed. It's like well, let's like let's just yeah. put a. Like a malt liquor you know under what? their tree. We should, it's what? more than malt liquor. It's like we should give them weed. You know what else we should give them to cope with this? Free sneakers. Because <laughs> I like, think that's really going to help. Like, no, they already uh, have that. They're good. The, <laughs> the, 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 the idea that they're they're gonna. He, he's he's not wrong. He's not wrong that guys were smoking. We're smoking now. It is an odd thing. It's a weird thing. It's a. What's weird is it's legal and. 10 states now but not all the states that they're right in. so if i live in if i play for portland and it's everything's legal in oregon now by the yeah. way which like i MDMA. i which i i'm gonna try to get a law passed in for washington state uh and and california that if you're if if you have drugs in your car and a cop pulls you over if you can floor it to Oregon and make it across the border. <laughs> it's the Dukes of, I called the Dukes of hazard law, where okay. if you get to Oregon, 
they can't they can't do shit it's good so that's what i'm going to be spending the next few years <laughs> on i'll be dedicating my life to that my cause <laughs> Moving on. oh this is separately and uh and uh not not fucking right, coincidentally me. there's a you know there's a bunch of apps for when you get pulled over which i feel like we've touched on or maybe we never did what? but weird there's i always le- think there's about one's that. called the legal equalizer <laughs> Yeah, there's roaches in the precinct. We all know it. And this is this is roach repellent. This is rage. So what do they do? What do they do? Uh, they're they're they apps that record, but one of them now it goes live to local law- lawyers. Wow. One of them goes to your family. Like if someone is on is it needs meds or something. Mm. Someone's having a bipolar episode or someone's having any kind of episode. It goes to so if the family is like. He's not crazy. This is Blake telling me to cut it. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, That could be embarrassing. No, thank you. uh, The live stream scares me. It's not to like everyone, but uh, now, now, of course, the caveat is that 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 guy got shot on Facebook Live. So I think that uh i again it's just a step in the right direction it's great mobile justice legal equalizer uh to capture the entire interaction with police know your rights and make sure your loved ones know where you are so it'll tell you so you just pre-plan like hey send this to yeah or and it also there's one where like it gives you tips as it's happening like what your rights are no one knows their rights no one knows their rights i don't think and i think they also vary from state to state they i don't i don't know who i don't know what my rights are i don't either one time i didn't want to sign the thing because it was such bullshit it's like i don't have to sign these like yeah you do i'm like okay so it's oh, like i don't want to like, argue you, you, you folded yeah it's like yeah. no one uh, to picnic chair hold them. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah the the so they call again legal equalizer and moss. mobile justice and i'm sure i need this bug us all right moss. now <laughs> <You're just pretty laughs> i know i need to Sacrifice. shoot you bianca <laughs> i wouldn't shoot you in the face unless the moth was near unless i thought it was going to kill Comes a moth. every episode bug assault <laughs> <laughs> um no you're right <laughs> um i don't know what uh but so if you're if you're if you're first of all if you're black or brown get it yeah, get one get of it. these Great. I don't think it's going to hurt you. There's one where even if the cop uh, breaks your phone, it like oh, lo- that's great. goes right to the cloud Which or one? something. I, again, if you just type in one of them, you'll get all of them on the okay, app great. store. Uh, legal e- Equalizer or Mobile Justice. Mobile uh, or, Justice. Of course, or just get Bug Assault. <laughs> bug Assault, just shoot the cop. <laughs> um, well, you got a song for Doc Watch? there's a there's a there's a website called uh i i it used to be called streaming where okay where uh you type in a movie that you want to watch there's so many fucking platforms now it's so crazy you mean to is to see what's streaming where Mm. um it you look it up just watch yeah it's just it used to be just watch and then it, maybe it is just watch. All right, so it's just watch. So I do just watch, okay. um, and I caught up. And you just do genre. You just, you just click. By and the way, play just it? watch is not well run. Meaning, if you do top ten, if you do like documentaries by genre, mm. um, it it'll have like shit that's not that aren't documentaries. If you do, uh, yeah, well, uh, it's not. You didn't do it. It's okay um it's just the genre. so it'll but a lot of shit will come up where it'll be like not a doc it's not a documentary it's it's some it's like 42 just came up the jackie robinson it's like that wasn't a documentary sorry to tell you um <laughs> uh anyway uh i watch one well it's actually Oops. getting worse um uh you just shut it down well goodbye um oh michael hutchins from in excess I don't know if you remember in excess. I do remember. It's Squ- yeah. Um, oh. I want to fuck you like an animal. Nope. Uh, 
same that fuck you like an animal's trap master was Ooh. nine inch nails uh in excess um oh i need you tonight yes okay. yes but you're not wrong you could do a nice mashup okay um you're not wrong they might have done a nice mashup well um <laughs> uh uh the document is called well, mystify it's on amazon and i was surprised by how good it was i know he has a wild life Am I it wrong? wasn't as first of all he dated helena christensen yes, for four years was. helena christensen which if you're gonna build a woman helena christensen in her prime i would argue the baddest baddest woman who ever lived just looks wise wow. for me if you're, you're like Again, I'm not getting into now and da, da, da. Helena Christensen in like eight, it, she was in the Chris Isaac. Yeah, Chris video. Isaac. Like she's so good looking to me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's just insane. Um. So uh. anyway, they dated for a while. Didn't he die? Am I tripping? Yes, he died. But they he hung himself. But then it was like everybody oh, said it was autoerotic asphyxi asphyxiation um there was just a lot of mitigating things but he, the the uh, story uh, is i won't give it away but it's it's uh way more nuanced okay. and it's um fucked up and sad and it's basically an accident that took place that it, it, whatever he 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 only he died uh he was like age 30. Uh, no, he was 37. Not old. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, watch it. It was a good doc. Um, could have been bad. Wasn't. Uh, the, the one thing I did notice, though, this is from the people who brought you uh, people doing characters, mm. um, is when musicians try to do athletic things in concert or in <laughs> videos just like jumping and you see like right. their vertical is like an inch and a half <laughs> and you're like i don't know dog you didn't need to do that i'm not i don't like your music more now in fact <laughs> i like it a lot less <laughs> based on you thinking that that was gonna look cool and how awful it looked <laughs> especially photo shoots they'll jump around and you're just like uh no I just need to see the photos. Don't show me how you got there. Cause have, you, have you ever seen comedy style headshots? You know, when they, these have headshots, <laughs> they are the worst to me. It's like, why are we, you don't need a rubber chicken or well, a funny Tina tie. Fey may, and this happened to me. Hmm. Tina Fey always said they, photographers always want to give comedians, they want to make comedians hold a rubber chicken. It's every so, time, every like without time. fail across time. But since so many people have. It. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, but I did a Hollywood reporter story like a year and a half ago and the guy had me get on stage and tie myself up in the mic. Right. And it was like, I couldn't explain to him. Did you say no? I could, it just, I couldn't begin to explain to him why it was bad. So I just did it and tried to express with my face. I know this is bad. <laughs> like in the photo in the photo i'm sorry guys uh will you can bring it up neil brennan hollywood reporter uh yeah uh, these are this one this is the one where i was just like all right oh, i know no. this is bad i knew it was bad but i <gasps> just tried to get across you? like i, I know this is bad but the not much i can do here gang um so that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, Tina said, and then I did a, and then another guy, I did a f photo shoot recently and the guy wanted, uh, he's like, I want to get, I want, the guy took, the guy had a bad idea that I was like, don't do that. And he shot, it's the best photographer I've ever worked with, Dominic something. And I don't know his name. And wait, so did he force the bad no, idea and it was I good? I just said, hey man. I know uh, that you think this is, maybe that's it. I don't think that's it, but um, nope. You look uh, nice there.
But anyways, yeah, he was even a, better. even a good even like, his first instinct. He ended up getting. He, I ended up doing one as a mascot. It's just that they don't know what they don't know. Sometimes, like he wanted to do one where I was a mascot and and I had like he took really good okay. shit. Like that's I cute. like no, that's good. What do you mean? A no, mascot? they're the best photos I've ever had. But great, great. Oh, they're great. Yeah, let's let's, and then this one. That one's good. Oh yeah, yeah I like that one. Yeah, like he did. It was great. But he did one as the mascot, and I was like, you know, <laughs> oh, no. you gotta worry oh, about. No, 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 that's funny though. It's funny, um, but it's like no, it's I silly. Do, it's but like, yeah. but I said like, well, you, I gotta worry about Kanye's album because that's like the only time someone's been a mascot in like popular things. Mm. And he was like, "Oh, I didn't." He just didn't know about it. So they, I don't think that they have bad instincts necessarily. No, but, but the other ones were funny mm-hmm. and interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the, and then he got, and then there were some that were like the mascot one. I don't mind. They're like, it's I did fine. one that was funny. I like the mascot one with your head off. Then yeah, I did one where I'm the where I'm like laying like yeah, sexy. those. Sexy mascot. <laughs> Sexy mascot. Well, of course, I'll send these because people are going to be riveted by this. Pictures of me. And then I have some other pictures. When did you take those? A month and a half ago, maybe. Why? Because he just DM'd me. was like, hey, man, I want to shoot you. And That's cool. I was like, cool. He was I like, like I'm it. just That's a fan, it. and I wanted to take pictures. He was like, great. He rented the studio and everything. It was fucking perfect. Yeah. Um, gave me something to do during COVID. Of course, I got COVID. Uh, which was a small you. price to pay for those some hot picks. Um, so, af, uh, dude, um, is Heaven's Gate out? I really, Heaven's Gate is out as of yesterday. It? Okay, so it's Heaven's. It's called the full title. It's on HBO Max, but you can't. This is what I'm talking about. The right. confusion of finding it. What do you mean? I went on. So I heard it was on HBO Max. Hmm. So I go on Hulu, and there's dude, an oh, HBO Max button on hulu but yours doesn't couldn't find it then i'm look i go on just what i whatever you have to go through hbo max you have to go through the front door of hbo max <laughs> on hbo max.com or whatever your fucking app is yeah here's my issue <laughs> with heaven's gate okay that's hail bop that's hail bop yeah hail bop hail bop yes okay um t and t and t and toe or something were their names the two they would call themselves in some ways, every cult story is the same. Mm. Uh, it, it's a guy that was disgraced in a former life, starts uh, ha- some kind of psychic, bra- psychotic episode and comes out of it and starts a cult and then ultimately fucks everybody. Yeah. Uh, in this one, maybe he castrated. I can't remember. I even gotten that far. Whoa, he castrated people? Like, maybe. Maybe. That's sick and weird. Yeah, maybe. Um, but uh, <laughs> oh my god! So I only watched one episode. So oh, it's episodic. Yeah, I love there's four the episodics. Yeah. Uh, they tried it, and then the patient almost died. But and one person left, so they were like, "Yeah, maybe we'd give it a rest." Um, so um, sickos. So. I, uh, I don't want it, well, I'm not going to say it was boring, mm. but it was it's just a bit rote at this point. And the way the documentary was set up, the timeline was a little hard to follow. And so I only it's watched the most one episode. linear timeline. Like, how was it it's uh, interesting that uh, it was because confusing. they did flashbacks uh. and they I'm not saying every documentary should do what the 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 bulls one the last dance did where they literally went like 1996 calendar not they didn't do a calendar but they went like like it's now we're 96 and we're going back in time everyone to 93 in the last dance to me it you kind it was all one year kind of yeah like it didn't ultimately matter this is a bit there's flashbacks and who people are, and I might have been getting, you know, sort of lost in my own thoughts somewhat. But so blame no, but me. A, a documentary layout for understanding for the takeaway, uh, fully understanding the situation is really important. It's necessary, but many 
but they but a lot of it's so embedded that you don't notice that they did a lot for you to follow along yeah i think ezra ezra did, did great i mean amazing i mean for ezra small, made the greatest doc oj made america but even like a graphic of a me or like yeah a brrr, yeah that helps because otherwise it's like yeah how or sometimes it's it's simple but it's just boring or not or yeah i, I it's just the pace i think be there's just, something to be yeah. said for i think in some ways ezra may have fucked <sighs> fucked up the game by everyone too thinking damn that good. they can't well i gotta do at least seven episodes that's, in order to tell this story i, I need seven episodes it's like mm, you need three yeah <laughs> between you and me you need three <laughs> um but that's the it like it's the filmmaker and i also to, in the on the positive i think documentaries are so uh respected now and so yeah. popular they really do well in the ratings that they're like fucking yeah we'll take another yeah, take last it. dance you want to do 20 <laughs> like you want to just cover steve yeah. kerr when last dance ended dudes didn't know what to do with oh, themselves they were, they were like Shit. So many people died. <laughs> so many people killed themselves. Um, so I may give the second episode a try. I may but not. That's you know. Here's the problem with episodics: is that if you, you don't get it right in the first episode, I'm not watching the rest. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'll watch a whole documentary and just be like, whatever. But you you get you know I did the thing. I watched the whole documentary, so it's good for the filmmakers or whoever's streaming it. But yeah, if I'm you're, trying to think if the vow suffered from I chronology. Stopped, I well, stopped the problem the vow. with the vow was that apparently I the other one that came out apparently there's better. two is great. Yeah, and everyone's like that one's the I better. I hope one. they make an animated series out of it. I hope they really <laughs> blow it out. Children's the vow. yeah, movie. children's books and all kinds of merch. Um, I watched the one murder on the Myrtle. Myrtle on yeah. Myrtle, Myrtle on Myrtle. Myrtle on Myrtle. <laughs> Myrtles on Myrtles. Myrtles on Myrtles on Myrtles. Um. Myrtle, Myrtle, murder on Myrtle Beach. Something. Uh, it was. I I got a lot from the first. I got enough. I don't you know. You got it. I got, I'm sure there's a twist. I'm sure yeah. there's a thing, but it was. You'll like, never know. <laughs> I'm like, dude. Listen, yeah. if you're gonna do a long murder date on line, Middle Beach. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there's no Myrtle. Uh, if you're gonna do a date, like leave Dateline to Dateline. Because that sounds like a title of a Dateline episode, a 48-hour mystery sort of thing. Like, it was murder on yeah. Middle Beach. It just was like a long Dateline. Just leave Dateline to Dateline or do something really... It's just like a son trying to solve his mom's murder. But, yeah. Which is fine, but it, I don't know. Mm. I don't... I don't... I think that some things are... You know, not everything needs a documentary, not everything needs a podcast, not everything needs... just. There people as right. as whenever I think there's so much I was just going through all my platforms yesterday. I was like, ah, this is way too much shit. Like, you'll sorry, never, everybody, you'll I'm never. not going to watch all this shit. Uh, <laughs> now, if I'm a network, I need programming. So I yeah. get where they're coming. I get where everybody's coming from. If I'm no, a person, sure. I want money. I want to film. I want to make movies. I want to. So I, who fucking knows? But. Now, the documentary, the docuseries that I'm making, I'm going to need <laughs> your full support on. This is Neil. Um, Neil's like, too many clothes. We cannot pollute the earth. But I'm going to make a now shirt. Now I'm going to make some shirts. Shirt let me line. tell you something. Listen, um, listen. Buddy, it's, buddy, different. Buddy, it's different. Bianca. Bianca. It's different when I do it's it. It's different. Bianca. Yeah, yeah. Buddy. Buddy. Um, I'm making a documentary about the making of me and Kevin Hart's <laughs> Chase Bank commercial. The, also, no one <laughs> thinks it's Chase. People... Anyone who tweets about it, it's always Capital One. I know. It's a very Capital <laughs> One-esque. And you did it. And well, it's Capital I feel like One-esque you've, maybe you've in gleaned. terms of... It's bright. The, the, but what what it is, it's basically Chase's version of a Capital One card, which is giving yeah. you money back. So I don't know. That's You're going too deep with it. That's the card, not the commercial style. I don't... The Capital One is like, to me, it's like... Alec Baldwin, Jimmy Fallon. Capital One feels British like a good nights. <laughs> Capital One feels like those airplane videos they play. You know the the where they put production value into. Yes. Yeah. 
of like, oh, welcome to your seat. Maybe yeah. and they make it like yeah. interesting or something. Capital One feels like that. Chase feels like that? Capital One but feels why, like how that. does Chase feel? You're saying this mine was Chase, Capital One. But, but it's like, it's kind of fun and funnier. It's charming. Cap- it's what kind of commercials, charming. Wow. Charmity. Yeah. Bank. Bank. It's an old, it's an old Mike Sure. Tell me that term 20 years ago. His I'm friends who worked in I'm advertising. Uh, yeah. So Charmity. <laughs> Yeah. It seems like Chase is way more sterile. It's always like when you're on the run and you want to eat. What's the Well, the thing I would say about these commercials is why would a publicly traded company do comedy? No, charity. All you can do is right, but why would they cuz I made a version of that commercial that's genuinely funny that I think I showed you. Yeah. It's genuinely funny. But they didn't do it. They didn't use it cuz why? Well, you're proving my point. Why bother? Why bother being, they're a publicly traded company. Comedy inherently has some risk in it. You're going to hurt somebody's feelings if you don't believe me. Ask David Sedaris. Um, so, you know, no, but why there- bother? There are some brands that are fucking make legitimately funny commercials and it's part of their, just a Geico. part of their brand. Geico for 20 years. For 20 years. They even did a best of, they yes. literally just replay their old shit. Yeah. Elant Liquor. So what I'm saying is you're forgetting how much, if you make me laugh, I'm going to buy your product more. It's just hacking people. I don't know if that's true. But you think I mean straight up comedy and I just mean lighthearted charmity, as you're saying. Lighthearted right, but I don't, is good. But I think if it matches your brand, the, the people think Geico yeah, is why. successful because they're commercial funny. Geico is successful because they buy more advertising than anyone on earth. Right. And they're as you are look good. at the number. Yeah. But like they just their inventory is massive. So but they're, um, they're not the most popular uh, insurance, which is funny. Well, because they don't use um, Allstate like <laughs> the Allstate guy uh, or, or Chris, whoever Chris. What's the you know who I wanted to give a shout out to? I keep meaning to and never do. Alfonso Ribeiro is so goddamn funny in the Chris Paul commercials. He's oh, legitimately he so funny. funny. Like that motherfucker is funny. Yeah, he's I smart. don't. I I never watch Fresh Prince. You didn't watch when it was on. Not one episode did I watch. Oh my In fact, God, you're missing culture. Com- I realized that we did a joke on the on Chappelle show that from the Fresh Prince that, and I n- had no idea. I saw a clip and I was like, Oh, we did that on stole it. Where we, yeah, basically inadvertently stole it, and I'm sure Dave didn't see it. And I'm sure I didn't see it. Where Dave. There's four microphones and Dave goes, shut the fuck mm, up. Mm. Will had done that on the Fresh Prince. Right. Mm. That's how little we watch. Anyhow. Um, uh, did you see the, oh, well then you probably didn't I've see the, the reunion. Carlton, I've seen the Carlton dance. Obviously very funny. You didn't see the reunion. I didn't. It would make no sense to you. Uh, it was very good. I almost had a highlight in your life. I got kind of invited on the Red Table Talk. What? You mean this red table? No, a different red table. A different red table. A better, table. more popular one. Oh my God. Are you going? I don't want to blow it. Shut the fuck I don't, up. I don't know. But if you think I'm not going to get to the bottom of, if I'm not going to drop dime on that Will Smith, <laughs> everything I know about him. Um, um, that's actually a good doc watch. The The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reunion is so... Is it doc- docky? It's all doc. Okay. All right, I'll watch that. Because I didn't know... They bring together, they talk about kind of how it was, a lot of good flashbacks. It it sucks because if you watch the show and it means something to you, it's it is very sad because it's you they talk about like James Avery and mm-hmm. the read over of that all that. But they you know the battle between dark skin and light skin Aunt Viv. Mm-hmm. And Will and her had a very bad falling out for many yeah. years. And so he she Now I saw those clips. But the whole interview, especially with her, is so, it's so good. It's so good. Will that, is just going to be a self-help person. And yeah. probably, if you think he's going to play support in a movie, you're out of your mind. He's either going to be the lead of a movie or he's going to play just, he's either going to be the lead or he's just going to be some kind of self-help guru. Yeah. Well, he... In this one, it was really interesting because Will is so beloved and yeah. is always so nice and smiling. Yeah. And it was interesting to see somebody kind of pay out to him. Wait, 
No, Bianca, Bianca, if you're telling me that people, nobody in show business makes it by accident, <laughs> it seems like you're telling me that people that make it to the top are very ambitious. Yes. It's, but again, I thought it was just natural charisma <laughs> over and over again. If you're mean to tell me that someone like Will Smith is cutthroat right and know. or and or um, uh, deceitful, sometimes <laughs> you uh, you're blowing my fucking mind right now. <laughs> Believe it or not, mm. he wasn't always mm. the freshest prince off uh -huh. off camera, and to have someone pay out to him straight up and be like, "You took everything away from me." Mm -hmm. And it was like, you can tell that at that moment, at this part in his life, he could, he is, has all the skills to be able to handle that conversation. Yeah. I don't know if it would have turned out so great, like any other, like if he was younger. I think he kind of said that in it, right? He said about him in the show, but I'm saying, I don't know if he could have done a reunion. I don't know. It just seemed like Will was in a position to like really accept yeah. responsibility. He's a, he, I don't know if I've said this on the show, but he takes money that he makes for all the shit he does. And then he like just does fucking personal self-help shit as a guy. Mm. Like that's his like he just he he like he takes the money. I mean, not like all, but whatever, like. Yeah, he invests in himself he to be he better. Just like, a lot of people hey, I like that. I like this book I read. I'm going to fly that person to come and stay here for a week. Right. A doctor or a, like he's a he's a he's a he's trying to uh, grow as a person beyond um, stardom. Right. And it's it almost never happens. No, no. Or they most they don't stay in Hollywood. Well, he. Yeah, what do you mean? You, you, I mean, a lot of people, I think, who go down to self-help. It's rare to find someone who's still very successful, still in Hollywood, also on a path of self-help. Yeah. Those two things. I feel like sometimes. Openly. One, openly. It's usually like I was in a horrible boating accident and I had to over. <laughs> yeah. Like there's always some. Catalyst. There's always some. Yeah, there's a catalyst for it. He didn't really have a catalyst other than. It's like Oprah, that kind of like. I doing yoga. Well, yeah, you know, it's it's kind of uh, image uh, rehab. Basically, mm. is why people di will didn't have much of a thing to. He didn't need to rehabilitate anything other than like Jada kind of said like they all were kind of like you're a fucking dick. <laughs> not exactly, but like they had they talked about it in their red table. Yeah, talk, yeah. not mine. Um, <laughs> not the one that I'm gonna be yeah. on. Uh, um, <laughs> That'd be so. Funny. They talked about it where like he had a sort of. Yeah. Like yeah. they were like, eh, we don't like this. Yeah. And he talked about it on the Jay-Z thing I made with made like three years ago. Yeah. But he is a he fucking tries, which is he great. Tries. And that's he's, you know, like doing better than most people in Hollywood at his success level. Also trying to be a good person, actively putting their shit out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we yeah, talked, we read he, our he we read our hate press, mail. He did a think TV do. show about his wife fucking another guy and just took it like a G and yeah. and made it. I don't think anyone, even the the most like hardcore, like, man, I wouldn't let my lady. Yeah, there's like a that. lot of that. There's yeah, so like much of that. For a week. Like, but then now it's like, OK, now it's like, all right. Well, first of all, you know, the pe people's metabolism is so fast. And they're just like, what happened? I know. I was like, well, his name was Ag Jayden Augustus. On somebody? Augustus Klimt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what was his name. Um, that's funny. Uh, uh, yeah, like who knows? You don't even remember it. Uh, oh, August yeah. Alcina, Augustus Klimt. For, <laughs> yeah. For all intents and purposes. <laughs> um, so uh, I don't know why we talked about this. Oh, but... because Will, um, Fresh Prince, owning oh, yes, it, yes. Uh, Black Out Vivid. Yes. Um, I avoided watching it because, and it was really, it was really, it's good. It's a feel great. good. It gets a little emo in parts, but you end up reliving. It just, it's good. I think you should watch it because even if you're not, you don't need to be a fan of the show to get something. I'll out. watch it because I'm, 
I like believe in Will as a believe in Will. Like he fucking needs my help. <laughs> yeah, I but I want to make a documentary him. about him. Yeah. So this and is good. That would be a big part. Like market research. I'm sure somebody else will make it, but but. Listen. Start the in, bid. Start the bidding discussion. war. Well, he wants. You're not gonna believe it. He wants me to do something for him. Oh what? Before he'll do that for me. The, a lot of these. Oh. The, you know, it's Hollywood a types. lot of these Hollywood people are a lot Hollywood of. Types. You know, they need something from you before you. <laughs> as if it's not all for him. Um. <laughs> uh, and then I watched called After Innocence, which is on Showtime. Was that it was, the Innocence Project? It's yeah. It follows the lives of the dudes after they are exonerated. Mm, sad. Super not a uplifting. I thought it was going to be great. Like yeah, maybe I got they would have been better off still in jail. <laughs> I mean, not that, but not that. They would have been but... better off not getting exonerated. That's what I mean. Because I didn't know that when you get on parole, there's tons of government funding for you. There's a halfway house. There's mental health help. There's job stuff. Whereas, with I, I think I know what you're going to say. And I, it's so with when you're exonerated, and... you get nothing. They're just like bye. You, this never happened. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. Um, but and also there also con there is a conviction on the record, and they can't get it expunged. And a lot of them have stories of like, well, uh, pay me six thousand dollars, and we'll expunge the record. What? Yeah. So they so they can't get jobs. Um. A lot of them, it was like so much. It's all based on obviously DNA evidence with the Innocence Project for the most part. And years of trying to get certain DNA tested. And then they finally get it tested. They get off. But the fight that the that the state puts up against testing it, the, and then won't test, and then there's one guy who, not a very effective, he doesn't have a very effective means of getting the word out. He just goes to like a square where people are trying to eat their lunch and is like, I was, ex you know, just not good. And hands out leaflets. But he's saying that, there's DNA in his case that he was um, so he was exonerated through his DNA. It wasn't him. There was DNA out there that he that the state could just put into the FBI database to see if it gets any hits back, right. so they can try to solve it. And they will not test the DNA they have. Um, it just was. It's that weird thing of like, well, we got bummer. the conviction. So why yeah, would like, we do that? No, we got to keep the conviction. Because it's wrong. Well, no, but we already it's just justice too expensive. has been served. It's just too expensive. Why bother? Why bother? We got technically we it's like plea bargains like but we got the plea bargain. So why the fuck would we undo it? It's done. Yeah, there was one guy that's that the um, the judge said to the, the prosecution, do you want so this man is going to be exonerated and you want to bar him from getting any compensation? And the prosecutor was like, yes, that's, he's like, is my understanding that you want to just prevent him from getting any compensation for being put away for like 20 years, 10 years, something like that. And they're like, yeah, that is, that's where we stand in the judge's like jaw dropped. Apparently that was the story, but it just, it's not about justice. It's about, we invested time. We put you away. It was expensive. This whole thing is expensive and bureaucratic. So losing that really is a bummer it's not so much about the right guy it's about it's about like moving paper yeah and now we one have one pile of paper got into another pile of paper and like but it's we already moved the paper it's scary why the fuck would we yeah it's and it's you're not so gonna tell me that most of these guys are black are you there was a there was some whites right now i know but in the dark like right in the but dark I think it was like it was mostly black and more white than I thought. More white than I expected. I just realized that I sh could have and should have FaceTime Will Smith when we were talking about him. Really? But I I know. Well, it's funny is why did you Blake? Know? You go yeah, fucking call him. But Will Smith, it's like let's respect this time. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just like I don't know riffing with Will. Like, he would, no, I, thank you. For, I think he might pick. He probably would pick up. But I don't want to. I, he, he if he ever does the podcast. What an ambush, though! Oh my god, would he? I do would the only would want do to. The I would only want him to. I would want him to tell people his self help right. ethos. That would. I wouldn't be. I would just say in two minutes, tell people your self help ethos. But if he did the podcast, yeah. I mean, we wouldn't need a. 
you know, we wouldn't need to go interview him about his life. I mean, we get him. Everyone knows Will. Yeah, but I don't, everybody knows, but it's more a matter of just. I, you just want, you're like, this is the thing I like about them. I want other people to It's like to Chris. It's like, I want people to know what a maniac Chris is. <laughs> <laughs> more than anything. A maniac. A, and a grizzled. A, exactly. A grizzled this detective. Is the best song. It's a legitimate, the best song. And again, no disrespect to Eric Johnson. Um, so I feel like this was wasted on this could have been on a it charts. could have been on a, it could have been on the record it could have been on the radio <laughs> is that a radio do people still listen to the record radio? radio uh separately Errol Morris quickly Tell. made a doc called my psychedelic love story he did that yes did you watch gonna, it no I was gonna watch it but I was it's, like I'm too it's much a, can, Aya in my life timeline wise it's a nightmare and it oh, would have no. been very easily fixed and they just didn't Visually, as good a documentary as you'll ever see. Wow. I mean, you want to talk about... Errol Moore is really good with cutaways. He, mm, he'll mm, he mm, use mm. like an obscure fucking... He's used obscure yeah. shit. It's, it's, it's a cutaway. It's a, cu- it's, a cu- it's, a, it's a cutaways playground. It's color palette and cutaways. Mm. <laughs> Bellissimo. Mm. Retarde. <laughs> It's so good. You can't believe how good it is. Um, is it better then, than like the ayahuasca art? It's in that palette. Oh, it, well, it's but it's more because um, it's about an LSD. Oh, okay, so okay. it's in that palette, but it's. Have you the, done LSD? Yeah, LSD is like mushrooms on acid, <laughs> okay. and it is it is acid, so it's it's a funny metaphor. Um, it's great. It's it's just a great. It's visually amazing, which often doesn't happen in documentaries. Hopefully, it'll happen in my Will Smith documentary <laughs> okay. and my non-existent Will Smith documentary. Um, Soul of America is a documentary about uh, uh, j- journalist John Meacham, which wow. shouldn't be riveting. I know he's an MSNBC guest. He's one of these guys who does a hundred speaking engagements a year, at least that wow. you would never know and probably <laughs> makes $4 million a year public speaking. Mm. And he's not like, I would, you'd never know it. Um, so it's a combination of his speaking engagements plus uh, it's contextualizing modern history versus uh, American history. And it's way better than it should be. He's pretty engaging. He's a square, but pretty engaging. And uh, and he's fucking knowledgeable as shit. So it's like... Oh, cool. So it's It's just, worth watching. It's on it's, HBO Max okay. or some, somewhere. Best of luck finding it. But if you do, you're in for a real treat. Soul of America. Would Sounds like it's about black people. <laughs> it's not. It's about a powerfully white white man. Uh, do you watch scripted shows anywhere? Uh-uh. By any more, I mean not since Family Ties went off the air. Sha-na-na-na. In, in 1990. Um, okay. Because I, I haven't watched. I haven't watched it. That's the only sitcom I watched, and it's relatively. I, mean sitcom. I just mean the. Uh, there is one called Your Honor, with Brian Cranston. I saw and, the trailer, and it's in New Orleans, and I don't know. Anyways, whatever you didn't. It, watch. Well, what's the premise? Is it? Is um, it, he's a judge. He's a judge with a drug problem. No, okay. he's a judge, and his son. Um, I don't know. There's something happened at a bl- in the black part of New Orleans to his son's girlfriend. He was going to commemorate it on the anniversary. Simultaneously, there's a rich kid driving, like of a mob boss's son, driving a motorcycle, and um, he hits and kills the son. Mm-hmm. This happens very quickly, so don't worry. He goes to his dad. He's like, I think I, I, I hit and ran someone. I left the scene, and I think he's dead. And then Brian Cranston is basically like... He does this in the middle of a courtroom, right? He walks in in the middle of a, a hearing <laughs> dead. and goes, Dad, Dad, can I talk to you for dead. a second? And the bailiff's like, should I... Who? Go ahead. And he tells him... The son gets into the ju- into the, into the the witness box and he goes, Dad. <laughs> go ahead. And he goes... And then he's like, we got to turn you in, son. So he goes and he, they go to the precinct and he realizes who the who the son's dad is he's like get back in the car 
And then he's like, we can't, we're going to never talk about this again. Mm. But I'm sure there's so many little things that got, there's just, they're going to piece together the story again. Something's going to happen. It's not over? No, but I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. I have issues with it, but well, you don't watch. Well, there's, there's shit. There was a judge, like a judge got sentenced. Oh yeah. You could do like a bad, like a dirty judge show. Like a dirty judge. Like a dirty, a judge. What was it? It would judge like hit. Something it was recently I feel like we talked about, but it was something where judges. Oh, it was the judge's son got killed by a someone they sentenced. No. Well, there's those stories. Then there's also the thing that judges give worse sentences before lunch. I feel like maybe we should do that a series about that. Are you serious? Yes. They, if you see a judge, you're better off seeing a judge. You're so much better off seeing a judge at two thirty than twelve thirty. Twelve thirty, the sentences are worse because. Human beings are fucking incredibly fallible. Wow. And the whole system. Uh, yes. The, the irrational, hungry judge. Judges are more lenient after taking a break. So, anyhow, Anyways. that's a whole other Let's, problem. We'll yeah. get to that. <laughs> we'll, get a, we'll get a song going. Um, This one is a long. Oh, I, oh, this is email. just pref- emails. Well, it's time to check that email. Emails. All right, so we got a lot of emails about Islam. Oh, yeah. And, and an audio would, one? Let's yeah, do it. Islam versus Christianity. Well, uh, and Neil's I mean, the, there's a really long Neil. one. You're I mean, there's, it's people are split, ultimately. And maybe, and people are split. Fuck, and these I are would, long, dude. They're too long. These what I'm saying me. is, play no. the Christian, yeah. play the audio one. You've got mail. Hey, Neil and Bianca, big fan of the show. Um, last week, you were talking about uh, liberals and kind of ignoring the conservative parts of Christi- of Islam. Um, isn't it that Islam isn't that much of a threat here? It's more Christianity, uh, at least in America. Conservative Christianity is far bigger of a threat with, uh, you know, them basically trying to ban abortion in every state. Amy Cody Barrett being a part of a group called the Handmaids. Our Supreme Court justice is getting picked by a guy in Opus Dei. Uh, it just feels like that's way more of a threat to me than uh, Islam will ever be. And to me, it's more uh, we should stop tearing apart Muslim countries and murdering them and leave them alone to figure out their own problems and things that they might not like. And then, yeah, that's just how it works. But that's my thought. Thanks for the show. All right. So what this comes down to in 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 my reading of all these letters and and you know I do some pretty scholarly stuff about these subjects and really well reversed and I do a lot. Yeah, of course. Really have, I, I preserve I have a, the front fat fag over here. Library, li, I go to a library card. Um, <laughs> I go to a library card. Uh, here's my question overall. So th- what I would say is liberals are against Christianity uh, kind of openly they're not they're against a a lot of it and christians are against islam but the irony of course is that the difference between islam and christian fundamentalist islam and fundamentalist christianity is are not very far apart in terms of the outcomes they they seek if you're talking about actual like the text right it's uh, the Christianity's had a reformation, but the people, the Opus Dei and all that shit is still pretty conservative. So Christian, I'm sorry. So liberals in America are against Christianity, but they're for Islam, right? And what I'm saying is, hey, liberals, they're not that different, right? The big question is, for all this stuff is what does a Muslim country look like and what, what like whether it's uh, Sudan or on the one hand, like, like a failed state, there's a, there's a, there's a spectrum. There's, there's Sudan, there's Saudi Arabia, there's Turkey, there's um, Croatia, Yugoslavia, that whatever the, the former Yugoslavia. What can can uh, Western democracy 
and Islam peacefully coexist. That's the, and I feel like what you answered last week. So try if you can avoid it this week. See what you can do. You were either said explicitly or were implying like, "Welp, too late," because you guys uh, made made uh, colonies of all these places, and the chickens are coming home to roost, etc. What I'm saying is, can is France even though is France right to be afraid of? Is like is a growing Islam gonna run? Is it just gonna get low? Once it be, let's say it gets to fifty percent, right? Which it's it'll not. be a while, but demographically, no, it's it's five percent. No, no, but I'm saying th there's the things where like Muslims are 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 uh, uh, having more children than any other group. It's that type shit where it's like, right? Mm -hmm. Would a Muslim country be pro? democracy and and anti-theocracy that's what i'm saying what i'm saying is i think i i there are so few just openly democratic muslim countries it seems like they veer toward theocracy and if it's if you're a western country uh would a theocracy not are they not are they right for it to scare them a little bit my issue with everything you're saying one you have a bit that is literally that would answer your own shit. The bit about the Jay Z dude. I don't watch my own act. I mean, clearly, you know, I don't care. But a lot of that humor stuff is not. For me. You have a bit that literally could just come in and speak to you. We are all trying to change our foreign policy for this motherfucker that knows all the words of Jay Z. I right. mean, you are literally answering your own thing. So it's hard for me to understand how. But you I'm could saying that I'm talking about the the Muslim in America, and the guy mentions Rami and and Mo Amir, yeah. um as cool. American Muslims who make it seem like the more extreme parts of Islam uh, is are not real or not because I for for every Mo and Rami there's a cleric who's like no I'll tell you what Islam yeah, is yeah but what what I one I don't understand why you're concentrating on the extremist behavior of Islam because it doesn't represent. All of Islam, and you know it because you have to know it to write that bit. Of course. Have. I mean, my point then, is like most it, Muslims are not. The joke is that most, I'm sure you all very classic well. Classic Neil's I mean, best of act, album. Um, is that most Muslims are not good Muslims, much like most Christians are not good Christians. It's, I think it's probably. Well, that's not the joke. Yeah, it is. No, the joke is that. Uh, there are very rare uh, Christians who know every fucking rhyme right but it was every it's part not, of the bible the right. way they there's a guy in jay-z show who knows every lyric there's a guy right. there's fewer muslims like that than than you than most uh, than muslims, western yeah exactly. news would have us believe exactly but if you are going to sit there and say like i don't get why you're concentrating on muslim extremists because they're extremists in everything and that's just that's just based on religion like we can concentrate on an extreme behavior of any stereotype of a certain race of a certain like let's, gender <laughs> let's start with dominicans okay let's go why Badasses. do they all love um, timberland but not the <laughs> real timberlands like the off-brand timberlands that are more like snakery boot sneakers Dem it's fine um go so ahead. it just feels like you know the basis of this country is you know obviously this free from persecution everybody come bring everybody your religious da, 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 race gender creed color all that bullshit but you're really concentrating on for me like a non-threatening factor which is and and if we take it out of islam and we put it to anything else i don't i think you'd agree it sounds a little bit ignorant of like, i i don't disagree my, the, like oh the me you know right, the mexicans are having more no, babies that it's like there's I, right yeah. that what I, my counter would be that there is no that i can think of there is no christian saudi arabia there is no christian you know what i mean like there are no other uh country you could i if you if you go with america america again there's been a reformation your women don't have to cover up in public. Like there are things no, in, for sure. or, and then there's like female genital mutilation. There's but, a lot of stuff in 
that's, I believe, fairly popular and fairly accepted parts of uh, Islam, in especially in the Middle East and probably Northern Africa, that I just, I don't know. That's where I get, like, I don't know. I just don't think that um, the unit of measure of whether there's a good example of a country out there that also has like a good healthy democracy is what religion dominates that country because there's plenty of examples of sh shit fucking democracies out here that are catholic or Christ or have christian roots and so no, I, I just agree, don't but think what it's a I'm good saying is be what but the, to contradict my joke a little bit and counter what you're saying the fact that there was a reformation in Christianity makes everyone go like, eh. but they, but there are like, you cannot really drink in Iran. You, it is a, right. a, but that's what I'm saying. Like they take, there is no like, eh. there are, what do you there is no the, the alcohol. Literally it's in the, it's, it's the rubbing alcohol. It's just vodka. They just go home and drink it. Everyone. Eh, okay. I, don't, what, I hear contradictory things on that where it's like, Wait, it's but what hard is to the find eh, alcohol. Sorry, I want to eh understand. Is, is, you don't really have to do it. Dude, every, human beings do what human beings are going to do, and they don't only abide by religious laws. You think people don't have premarital sex and party in Iran? I, of course, of course they, they, do. they do, but I hear varying story. I'm, it's all anecdotal from my point of view. No, for you sure, but I, mean? I do wonder when we take it from like, oh, like whatever, to anecdotal land, to put it and use it to try to understand the ethnocentric views of French Frisians. You know I, I mean? would, yes, I would say if you just go the West, right? So yeah, it's okay, all West. of Europe, a lot of Europe and America, Canada, whatever. What is the, there are, there are a lot of countries were based. I mean, America was based on religious freedom. Wink, 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 wink. But we're with, Christian. with Christianity right. uh, rising. Um, <laughs> right, really? uh, uh, but North there, Node. yeah, like there are not. I, I don't. There is. A, there are. You're right to point out there. There are not many democracies. Period. Um, to not have a. It seems like if the if the uh, royal family was booted in in Saudi Arabia, mm. I feel like some sort of cleric would be not, would be uh, given the job. You know what I mean? Well, what's the point of that? My point is, it's their short. I feel like if they if they they would like religious. They want a religious, specifically Muslim, leader and laws. Who's they? It seems like the majority of Middle Eastern Muslim countries with, with Muslim citizens would like a uh, some sort of Muslim basis for laws. And, and then the basis for the laws, how many of these are we going to use, right? Some are like Iran, I would assume. Iran, Iraq... Iraq, I don't he I don't think he's not a cleric, obviously, but there's a big clerical fight there for who who would be in charge. Like Right. I mean Iraq is in a really rough state yeah. because they they you know, unfortunately of Saddam our, how we favored them. Right. But Saddam was like keeping a lid down. But Saddam was Saddam was doing good in terms of like I mean we can criticize Peace. Saddam. In peace for yes, but he was doing it by killing the opposition anytime they even so much as raise their hand. Exactly, and it, that was his opener. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was fucking the was opener. opener. Um, no, listen, it, the Middle East and a lot of parts of Africa and Asia have a lot of issues, but I feel like we overly focus on them and link them so closely, and we tether them to the religion. Whereas Russia is not a super religious country, and it's still fucked. I agree. In a lot uh, yes, of ways. I agree. So I don't, I think it's, personally, I think it's countries that have a lot of oil or a lot of resources and 
Um, but I think in, you, when you get into Africa, that falls apart because they don't. They're but they have resources. Right. They have like they have resources. That's, there's a reason Sudan why Sudan. Sh- I don't think has many resources. But Sudan is like it, is a le- is, is a, a failed state. Is it? But from a lot of civil war, yeah. which is like we. I mean, we can get a expert right. in which here. Which could to, be tribal. A lot of tribal. A lot of um, a lot of. It's just that's a different situation. Whereas I think the reason why the Middle East is so there's so much going on there is because it's important, you know, and we see these things in these important countries like Iran's important. It's like one of the biggest uh, suppliers of petroleum. I think like all these countries are very important. We don't really talk about Uruguay. No offense to Uruguay. Or <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying there are. Speak country- for all of your guy. <laughs> You're retarded. Then. <laughs> Shut the fuck. So there are countries. Russia is really important. Like West, what, the Russia's West. Actually, has, not that. Russia's, yeah, they have so much oil. They what do you don't. Mean? I. It, America has more because of fracking. America has because of fracking. Yeah. Yes, but I'm just saying where there are reasons. There are certain countries that are just important. Whatever, yeah, I, over yes, others. I agree. I guess it's just and their policies. I wonder are more, what. It's just a form of control. I wonder what. Yes, I wonder. It's just independent. America and the West is. It's like post enlightenment, and just using being rational and being logical and but being all that happened stuff. A while ago, of, three years ago. <laughs> um, in no, your but mind. I'm, no, but honestly, like it. But historically, it did because. It happened in the West, but all of at most of Africa and most of the Middle East, all of the separation and the civil wars are tribal or religious or or religiously tribal. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's it's they're all it's all like no, a lot of them are political. Like the Iran Iraq War wasn't tribal. But I think it was based on Muslim interpretation. I think it was based on Sunni versus Shia, and probably land. It was based on America. Backing Over Iraq, to, yes, okay. you know but I, mean? I don't think we backed them. We didn't just go, "Hey, we're backing you." If you want to fight anybody, no, I it's think because it was, the Shah was got taken down. Shah? You're welcome. No, you, you, or we put the Shah in. Yeah, you put the Shah in. Right. But let's just take Iran for example. It has a, a long history of being very pro-Islam and being very anti-Islam. Before, when the Shah was there, you couldn't veil in public. Yeah, you were not allowed to, and it really. Um, it, it fomented really, radicals or it made them like they're this is wrong also right it's just the yeah. same thing here where it's like oh we're feeling oppressed and then this group gets together and like you know mobilizes and says blah, blah, blah. so in iran but just as an example for example sometimes there's periods of history where you can't veil and you can't really practice islam it's not a very islam friendly place mm-hmm. and then there's times where it is a very islam friendly place but just in iran for example it's so heavy handed with how with how um uh much they force islam that it's no one is happy there either about that you know so it's yeah. not like yeah finally islam yeah but i but then you'll read polls or you'll see like then they vote for the vo- it's corrupt uh, yes but okay i that's as a westerner yeah it's impossible to know who there are three contradictory letters yours your point of view is the fourth one that everyone's got a different point of view. Of course, of course. And everyone's got a different interpretation. I'm also speaking of, specifically about Iran. Yes. Which and, doesn't is very different than a lot of the countries that are like like Lebanon, like yeah. Syria. It's it's different it's different countries. Different yeah, situations. like there's a again, there's a woman the, there's a lot of contradictions in terms of the uh, that this woman was a model, apparently. She's oh, yeah, she Instagram. stopped. Yeah, she, she stopped. She said, I'm going to stop modeling because it's too sexist. Yeah. And a bunch of uh, Naomi Campbell, a bunch of people, uh, like, supported her. But at the same time, if she said that Halima, in, the, there we go. in the name of Christianity, it would have been at wrong. It would have she's Mike Pence. Well, she also, if you go, if you read what she says, she was... Um, she is Mike Pence. No, there's definitely like a skew for sure. That's Mike what I'm Pence. saying. Like, so when it's Mike Pence, we all agree that it's crazy to to think of women and men like that. And 
But if it's Islam, we're all like, you know what? It's a beautiful religion of peace. But I don't think you're giving. There's plenty of things. I mean, when we talked about Ti, you were sitting here, it's like, how is he supposed to check her virginity? That is such a Christian idea, and we're not. And not not everybody was against it, right? You know, like yeah, it sounded. Hey. Uh, it sounded creepy, but yeah, a lot of people do abide by that shit, and a lot of places in outside of LA in uh, the Bay. That wouldn't be weird. But by the way, the same people that were condemning T.I. are for this woman. You know what I mean? Like the, because that because it sounded creepy. But like you said, but they were they weren't. I got a lot of flack on Twitter about it, which is people going like, no, it's because no you said it weird. I just said it like I I <laughs> truly don't know. But what should a father? What should a father's approach to his his daughter's sexuality and and uh, sexual health be? Like I truly was like. I, I've never had a kid. Uh, what should it be? But the point you made that I think no one would disagree with, which was the meat and potatoes of what you were saying, was that the longer, the later you wait to have sex, obviously not forever, but yeah. the later you wait in your like, in like teens. 15, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I mean, don't be a on, loser. Uh, the later you wait in your, in your adolescent hood to have sex, the better it is for you. That No one's arguing with that. And I think that was a point. That's all the right. point. I'm just saying there's a lot of mainstream christian ideals and whatever behavior that people sign up for that don't that aren't gonna right but liberals are would all be mike this woman is making a mother decision Mm. it's basically the same the version of like she might as well be mike pence's daughter but it's when it's in the name of christianity liberals get like that's so backward and so and then when it's islam it's a complete it's an entirely different story and that's what i that's part of my point. The other point is like, what is Islam and what are its long term intentions worldwide? But that what you're saying right now, what is Islam? It, it, I think the reason why liberals do that is because and the, it's the same exact reason why Republicans have a negative idea of Islam is it's the same thing. It's that they don't know it. It's very hard to hate on something that you don't know. It's not hard, sorry, but for a liberal, it's like, well, we don't fully get it. It's also the so, enemy of my enemy is my friend. So they, because they know right wing people hate Muslims, especially after nine eleven, they're like, hey, they're good people, and they don't. don't I don't be know because there are plenty of people. Th- you- there was plenty. There's plenty of people that aren't would never identify as a conservative or Republican that were looking at Sikhs like. I don't know about him. You know what right. I mean? Like there were. I feel like anti Muslim. But, but I can tell you firsthand that that i can tell you I'm that sure the first hand is yeah but is liber the only reason liberals are for islam is because they because republicans are against it i i okay so i disagree with you because i think it almost mimics the rule in comedy where uh if you want to make a joke about something you got to be somehow associated to it mm-hmm. but if you start making jokes about breast cancer for vi- survivors no one's gonna laugh because mm-hmm. it's just it feels mean and i feel like liberals don't know enough about islam to find ways to to hate on it do you know what i mean i don't well i don't i think the that same it way, would look yeah. bad it looks bad you don't even a, know enough and right, you're a liberal. but they it looks bad to shit on muslims after 9 11, I'm telling you, it, no, because no, I no one, you. I believe you 100%. I told this on this one time, and he's like, I think about it all the time. I go, before 9 11, no one knew shit about Islam. Yeah, no one was nothing. hating because they it didn't was know, like, it was uh, like nothing. It was just a it was nothing. Like towel religion. head. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> like yeah, nothing. which is a great one. It's um, pretty funny. And uh, duh, and towel head. not in a uh, Sikh. It's, so, yeah, it's not so, even Islam. That's the funny part. I would argue, it's you ever see the Bill Maher where Ben Affleck was defending Islam and uh mar and maybe sam harris or somebody were citing this poll in i think it was saudi arabia where it's like 73 percent of muslims are for sharia they're for muslim laws as a governing in saudi arabia yes it, it, again i'm mis. but ben affleck's defending 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 and it's purely a liberal defending islam because he doesn't want to seem racist against Muslims. Now, if Mike, if you said Mike Pence wants all this shit, it would have been a hook, line, and sinker against all the same shit. And it's just a matter of what's the difference. The difference is 
liberals don't like uh christians and liberals are in a fight for control of the country in some ways and uh it's the enemy of my enemy is my friend they christians were against muslims so then liberals are like well then we're for them uh it's like it's the same with with uh immigration where liberals are like i'm for i think we should allow as any immigrants that want it. how many just ask any liberal what's the right number of should it be 300 million a year well, what i i don't see, I, this is where you lose me because i'm like first of all our immigration policy was very similar to that uh, not that long ago and that's something like it, but it wasn't similar to that it was around a million a year was a was like there's something of a cap and it ended up being but, but then but but What's liberals the, are right, like yeah. we're sending all the border and all that stuff and it's like well, what's the right number but that's but you're really boiling it down to a way that makes liberals look one like there's just one person speaking the same thing i mean like come on i, I agree but there is their liberal tenants i mean there's like for sure but i don't think under both republican and, and democratic administrations there's been like a robust immigration system that doesn't this is the only one that's really put the brakes on things just based on weird ethnocentric and like anti-muslim laws so what but it's also anti mexican it's not he's no, not but it's what, only yeah he wants white people he wants more white people but there's but what i'm saying is this is the this is weird what trump is doing is is a little bit different but it the most of the immigration laws hasn't cha haven't changed that much and the immigration you know system and the how much they let in it doesn't change that much between i agree democrat but, and republican but i don't so. but most liberals who say that they're for immigration right mm. we have robust and all that yes, stuff yes. don't have any idea what the what it is they don't know the number they don't know when no, they don't know people how don't they don't know what the fuck? right people but don't know how can you be for something if you don't truly know it that's my that's my problem with liberals it's like they don't know about muslim but they know it's a religion of peace and good because they didn't want to seem when when Muslim guys were getting beat up on the street on nine fifteen, they were like, "This is wrong," and it was all uh, seemingly right wing people doing it. They've defended them and without and it was wrong that they were getting battered, but they don't know what they're defending. But it's everyone has their like thing right but what i'm saying is there's a ton of contradiction like this woman said with the model they're for it if but if mike but if christians do it it's backward no, i'm, I'm there uh, but there's hypoc there's hypocrisy on both sides and we're never gonna get i'm just saying that like for example for example it seems more like of course liberals want to uphold whoever's being like picked on mm -hmm. whoever's being you know yeah. unfairly targeted yeah. And that for me is for me, it really is trying to and I'm not saying liberals are fucking holier than thou, but I'm saying it is they kind are. of They're trying. Saying that. they ahead. are saying that and they actually act like that. Uh -huh. So what I'm about to say sounds like I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, but I'm not. But it, it does feel like it's kind of upholding the Constitution more. It's like, no, let these people have equality. Fuck off. You don't have to agree with someone to know. There's plenty of lawyers that represent Klan members and they're, and they're agree, Jewish but lawyers. But, but like, liberals are not, they're not saying, hey, these Christians just want equality. Let them, let them do whatever they want. Right, but they're not going and prohibiting those Christians for being... Not for, for, thanks to Amy Coney Barrett being in the... In <laughs> okay. the uh, well, we solved okay. it. Moving we on. solved racism. And... Uh, ethnocentricity and, and play the moving moving on song <laughs> ethnocentricity goodbye you got um, mail let's see what uh, one other one another person said watch a documentary called our man in tehran which i believe tehran, you're not gonna believe tehran. this is a front line oh yeah our man in tehran tehran um uh you've got mail fucking oh all right <laughs> fucking, <laughs> <laughs> neil you fucking with glasses on or off i had a sex dream about you not that long ago, by the way. Your body looked like shit in it, and then wow. she puts her email. She's trying to get them. She's oh. trying to get that pic. Um, and you did have them on. Uh, being a part-time wearer of them, they can sometimes get in the way. Just curious. Also, my friends and I were recently going over our most embarrassing sex stories, and was wondering if you guys had any good ones to share. Bianca, you are obviously beautiful on the outside, uh, but also seem to be as equally beautiful on the inside. Thanks for being a voice for ladies. Neil, love you and your work. No reference to my insides. <laughs> your insides um, suck. Uh, That's mean. And she I, attacked your body. I <laughs> think that 
you got to I think that uh, you got to be careful. I try to take them off as late as possible, if I'm honest. Can I see your face without them for a second? I miss no. that. What? Come on, miss. Oh. <laughs> that seems positive. You seem, you seem the same. Yeah, but I'm cuter with glasses. A little cuter. 10, 10 to 15% I would say. I don't know. So what I'm saying is this is the package. This is the agreement. Oh, this is the agreement. We the have agreement a contract for head, the new this, listeners. My, head, my headshot is for the new glasses, right? Yes. Mark Twain and Three Mics and Communities of the World, where I dropped that wonderful Muslim joke that I do not stand behind at all. <laughs> Clearly, um, you've changed. Is, that's the agreement. So yeah. I I try to take them off as late as possible. Do you make sure the lights are all dim? I try to make sure. No, I just, <laughs> I, not even, it's not even conscious, like, don't show her your face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where, I don't know. I, it just seems like that's the... I'm already getting ready to surprise her with what my dick looked like. Why wow, show her a new what face that at the dick same do, time? Neil? Why double? Why double? Double whammy uh, with um, it's the ultimate double whammy. It's my face and my dick. So much surprise! Uh, like, ow, ow, ow. So much surprise! That's my dick and my face. Wait, go <laughs> where am I? It's the Spider-Man. Meme. What if you it's actually pointing said at Spider-Man that in face or dick? Um, <laughs> Spider-Man pointing at himself. What a fucking funny That's meme. That's such a fucking good meme. Fucking goddamn it, what a great meme. Um, so I think later yeah. is better. Do you, I, you don't have anything like that. Clothes. No. You try to keep your clothes on for as long as possible because you don't mm. want to give him that. No. Uh, okay, great. Whatever. When it's, no. When it makes sense. I'm not like, earn this yeah. titty. Uh, embarrassing sex story. Go. Um... Went down on a woman, woman I lost my virginity to, and she said, you've never done that before, have you? Wow. Three weeks ago. <laughs> I'm no. sorry to say. Uh, yeah, but it's just a great, just a great one. Just a great, like, because I had, I don't even remember what I was doing, but I feel like it was labial. How about that? Too much, too it much was labial. Overly labial, labial. Well, you know, if you go a wrong way, it's like it's like petting a dog the wrong way. It's like, don't. Do it's that. also don't. Like go this way. Great, great analogy, but I it it was like the, I'm not gonna. I don't I don't remember exactly, but in my head it was like, I was like gnawing on the lower right part of her labia, like down into the like like. Two inches the from hole? the action. Yeah. Like oh, just, what? There's nothing going I don't, on I don't there, know Neil? what I was doing. I don't know so exactly she was what right. I was doing. But I also did not know what I was doing. So I don't remember what I was doing. Did and you I tell didn't her, know like, what I was doing. I just ah. went like, no, no, I'll blow and glad I just <laughs> You leave. Um <laughs> oh, that's yeah. funny. Uh, uh so that's just a good slam. Oh, here's a second one mm, mm. that another woman said to me in the same period. I was uh, let's say I was digitally manipulating her. What? fingering oh again you brought it on yourself <laughs> i like, tried to leave it I, digital, I swear i thought it was a photoshop you, said, neil, like, you basically said neil please say fingered um and wait fun fact years to today years old i i thought when they said digital penetration i literally thought it was like a cell phone or some shit for a long time wow i don't even know how that's possible i don't know you thought that they were taking or like an physical antenna numbers no like, digits taking physical no, digits no it's not that bad <laughs> like digital like a, technology like a sign at a at a at a shop they were taking them and shoving them up <laughs> this women's is supposed to be a safe place that's actually Neil. A, this is supposed to be a safe place that's uh digital is a digital is a digital is a bad word for fingers yeah digits it's just what? like on it's too far it's too far afefield like eh. <laughs> Keep it closer to finger somehow. Like, I, you're not Phalanges. wrong. Phalanges. There we go. Phalanges. Something, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't love extremities. That's another one. Extremities. For, like, hands and feet are your extremities. And it's like, it's two feet. It's it's like two feet <laughs> away from the center of my body. At furthest, <laughs> it's two feet. Okay. Digital. Fingering a woman. And she said, it's not a change purse. Uh, just another great what? slam. How many fingers did you have in her? A, a bunch and a lot of change. 
<laughs> and oh like a lot of nickels and quarters. No, I was. It's just a funny analogy. That's really for funny. A vagina. She's funny. She yes. Is she still funny? She's she's always she was witty. Mm. She's not like professional comedian. She's no, she I works know. in comedy. She's funny. Yeah, she works in comedy. She's yeah. You still homies? Yeah, but yeah, but she's like married and kids and shit. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm like mine. Uh, I can't. Embarrassing. I don't know. One time I was. <laughs> I was really drunk and I was on top. This is, I don't know how embarrassing this is. It's kind of embarrassing. I was on top. Ugh, mom, don't listen. And uh, I just lost my balance and like my head fell into his head and then I had a black eye. This was sh during when you were shooting American Pie too. <laughs> <laughs> you got a black eye from fucking, that's pretty embarrassing. It was bad. I know. So I just lied about it. I was like, what? Just Did you guys finish? Yeah, I played it off. Great. I was and like, like, oh, swelling, slowly <laughs> swelling up. <laughs> I'm fine. No, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, that was not good. I didn't like that. You, could, you headbutted him on the other side to make it <laughs> make it seem like it was intentional. And it, it was one of those uh, black eyes that it's not like the whole thing. It was just the one where it looks like do you have dirt. Or yeah, so a lot of people brought it up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, that's moving a on. moving on. Wild story. I mean, it's <laughs> really? like that's a perfectly embarrassing. That's like <laughs> so physical comedy done. Live. I one time similarly was playing golf and gave myself a black eye. Now, almost impossible <laughs> to do. No. Yes. Yeah, so there were I was uh, hitting ball like whatever in my parents backyard um which again makes me sound like i'm from money which i again <laughs> does i guess technically chris rock is oh you are rich man i didn't know you were a rich kid that's what <laughs> no. chris that's chris take away from three mics <laughs> um uh, railroad tie thick piece of wood ball mm -hmm. against it i hit a chip shot just wondering what would happen and what happened was it flew right at my eye and boosh, it swelled. I could see the swelling by the time the ball hit the ground again. It was like, boom, black eye, over. You got a black eye. Swelling, you can see it from your eye. And you have cheek, you have sharp and I got cheekbones. Sharp cheekbones. This is before they, I, they came in. Like oh, and so in. did anybody say anything? A teacher at my school openly made fun of me. Are you it, I mean, I mean, good for him. Good for him. Is it? Yeah, fine. Um, yeah, it was funny. It's like, what are the fucking odds? It's like <laughs> it's fucking. It's they made fun of me as much as they would have made fun of you if you told them what right, happened. No, I would never. I would never. Um, girl, I'm sure guys would have been like, you know, Bianca. I'm saying I would never give you a black eye. <laughs> you would never lose your balance with me. Babe. No. Goodbye. Baby girl. You've got mail. Oh, uh, yeah, hey, Brinkles and ankles. LCNER. I've heard Neil saying the past. Oh, this nice. guy's got Nichols. issues. Uh, I've, I've heard Neil say in the past comedy is a natural talent. I simply don't believe this is the case. I say so because I've had meager comedic com uh, to comedy success online, but after taking two, two plus of intensive improv classes, I feel as I've, if I've become significantly funnier. It also rubs me the wrong way when Neil talks about how he'll talk with Seth Meyers about sketch on a level other people wouldn't understand. <laughs> of course, you both have contributed to sketch comedy in historical ways. Uh, but me? to act like other people, he simply oh. wouldn't get it, seems pretentious and dumb. I think Neil believes he's a stockbroker in the marketplace of ideas. Uh, my question is, do you really not believe comedy can be learned skill and you have to be born with it? How feel Badinky? What's a Neil thinking? Dude, you um, struck a chord. This guy, this guy. Now, this is his more significantly funny version of this letter. So, uh, guy, I'm sorry to tell you, I know more about comedy than most people. The same way you would have no problem saying Blake knows more about basketball than most people because he plays basketball professionally. For some reason, when it comes to comedy, everybody thinks they can do it and that their opinion, and I'm here to tell you, guy, it isn't true, and I will restate it. It's you got to be born with it. Uh, Chris Rock has told me things he said in grade school that most comedians would 
be ha- would do on television now. Mm. Uh, I remembered something I said in seventh grade that I was like, not only was that fucking really funny, it was my entire sense of humor laid out. Yeah. The, the exact joke I'd make now, and I made it in 1987. I think one time... Here comes the I, Keith song. Oh, Keith didn't bark. Keith did not bark. He didn't greet me. He didn't bark. He's on his own shit right now. Okay. He's, 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 planning, he's planning a surprise party. He's <laughs> <laughs> been super quiet lately. Um, so, <laughs> it's too such long. a good song. Um, so, wait, that really distracted me. I wanted to tell you something. Oh, one time I... Me and a friend, we hung out with Dave. It was a whole entire day. And I remember thinking, I think I told him and her, I was like, you know, we could have made, someone could have made 20 sketches or one or two TV show ideas based on the random shit he just said. Yeah. Like just random. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's and the you never know. would even remember even if I told him like the joke. It's just so that's when someone's brain just keeps going. They've absorbed. They've you guys' brains really just morph into these yeah. And it's comedy. this weird thing where people are resentful about it. It's like dog. There are people that are funnier than me. I enjoy it. I don't fucking. I'm not mad at Chris. I'm not mad at Dave. I'm not mad at Bill. I'm not mad at any of these guys for being a little funnier than me. I'm not. I'm like fucking. And I don't think a class is going to get me there. <laughs> but also, you guys kind of not like being a good comedian doesn't mean you're killing it in other places in your life. Like you guys' brains think in bits. You find. Yes. It's just a weird extra little thing. But you know what's funny? You can develop it. Don't get me wrong. But, but what something's I'm saying gotta is be like, there. this guy's mad that I'm going like, no, there is a thing about comedy that I understand yeah, more than that you, you will. don't. There's things about comedy that m- other comedians don't understand that I understand. And I'm not, they're not that mad at me about it. And I'm not mad at Chris yeah. and the guys that I think are funnier than me. I'm not like fucking Louis C.K. Right. This <laughs> fucking guy. It's, it's just like, no, I don't fucking enjoy the show. You know what I noticed though is that, for example, when people say they're an actor. For example. When people say they're an actor and actress. Uh, everyone's aspiring. <laughs> Did you, what have you been in that I've seen? Mm-hmm. It's like, fuck you. You know how hard it is to be in something, yeah. you motherfucker. Um, whereas the moment people say, oh, I'm a comedian. Instant respect. Oh, he's a comedian. Oh, yeah, she's a comedian. And they'll be like open micers. Or maybe they're at it for like a year or two. Look at a mic tattoo. They get so much more respect, at mm-hmm. least in this town. I'm not talking about yeah. throughout the world. Um, and I always thought like, dude, being a comic, saying you're a comedian and oh, I go up at the store. Yeah. My friend, my friend goes up at the store, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. It's like, no, dude, you're not. I mean, you are a comedian fine, but I think because you can be a comedian so quickly, Right. Everyone feels like they are sitting at the Illuminati comedian throne table. Well, it's there's like, yeah, that. I'm, I'm a, I'm a comedian. Of course. There's like, that, oh, but it's also, this guy's like, you and Seth don't know more about sketches than, than I do. You both historically contributed to sketch comedy, but yet I still tell myself that you're not better than me. It's like, dog, I don't. What do you want? I don't know how to disabuse you of this, but basketball, there are certain things that were people. Every, the problem with comedy is everyone thinks they're a little funny, and right. everyone is a little funny. Everyone's everyone little says funny, funny it's shit. It's just different than comedy. It's just a, a different, like, I'm talking about a different professional structured from nothing. Wake up, think of it like your brain just structures a sketch quickly. It's not, you can't, I've gotten better at it clearly, but the level of resentment that somehow I'm a, cultural gatekeeper no the audience is the gate the gatekeeper and i just see what people can do for an audience to go oh this guy's fucking good or i can speak to them privately and hear them say things that are so you wouldn't even know what to you wouldn't even know what i'm talking about right 
Like you, again, yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But he's mad at it. But basketball, there's certain things he politics, basketball. There's certain shit people have no problem admitting. Although less and less now in America, everyone's yeah, equal. everyone's like everyone's whoa, 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 equal. Whoa, 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 but this offend. guy, for some reason, just doesn't want to believe that that I could be funnier than him in a way that no class can, can teach, teach me. But meanwhile, he would have no problem going, "Oh, fucking Bill Burr's so much funnier than you, Neil." He would have no problem. His appraisal's as legitimate as mine. Well, the problem is that the access to entry and calling yourself a comedian is so everybody, like even people will be like, you should do comp, yuck, no offense, but now I would never want to. And it's also because it's a job. I, I don't, I don't think going up and going on a mic, I think everybody could probably say something funny one time on a mic if they really tried. Not everybody, but I don't think that's the issue. It's mm -hmm. like. You got to want this thing. You got to go yeah. up. You have to work on it. You have to do all this stuff. And I think people don't realize that. So the respect they give comedy, it feels more accessible than it actually truly is to be a good comic. Because we, we make it look easy. Most you make of it time. look easy. And it's like, you guys are kind of hanging. It's like, oh, you just go on a stage. And, and yeah. a lot of it comes from you. It's not like you have to take an acting class. You don't have to take an acting class, but maybe it helps. Or maybe the, it's really just like you could be very funny at home alone in Des Moines. You could be a really funny person. Yeah. And there's, it's, yeah. It's so like, it, that's the problem. It's like, oh, comedy. So funny, now I'm com a comedian. It's like, no, it's fucking, being funny and com comedy being yeah, com like, a comedian. I mean, is Seinfeld not, did the Jerry before Seinfeld special. And he says in the special, he goes like, you all think you're a little funny. Everyone who comes to a comedy show thinks that right. you're the funny one in your group. So then you totally. come and go like, let me fucking yeah, see what this guy's true. got. And he's got Jerry Seinfeld's creative output. <laughs> but there's certain shit they would be. This guy's also probably more respectful of perf guys that have only been performers than he would be of me. No, I've come been a on, writer don't put that on him. No, I, that's a true thing that but you... You're gonna, you'll, until you see it, you don't, he, there's I don't no he's making way. A distinction between you and. I mean, here's my point. I promise you he has more respect for rock. If Chris said the same thing, he'd be like, all right, I get you. Okay. So you mean like it, with your opinion, he's going to take yeah. Chris's a lot more than yours. Yeah. Cause he's a more successful and better. But he performer. listens to the podcast and you're very funny. So. Right. But. Yeah, that's fine. But he doesn't. He mad. He's mad that I'm telling him. I'm. He also thinks I'm saying you're not funny. What I'm saying is, no class is gonna, gonna teach, teach you. you fucking is not. Your, your, our brains are composed differently. They just are. They've been composed differently from little, from small time. <laughs> they are. They've just been composed differently from little. So. Also, you've been working in comedy and writing and sketch comedy for so long. Right. All that. All that. Neil's fucking old. Give him bung the respect. to the bung. Super um, dude. Yeah. So, but again, it's um, it's the thing that they don't want to give me respect. I, I We got to go. Yeah. We'll, we'll do the rest of these next week. Okay. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. How you feel? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, stop the song. Well, we ended the show because we don't have to take this shit anymore. Bye. Goodbye. Oh,